One time I did a scene with her and a bunch of other girls where I was wearing an Easter Bunny costume. And so I have this giant Easter Bunny fucking helmet. I nutted and I didn't even see what I was nutting to. <laughs> <laughs> it was a weird feeling. Well, we're here. First time we've had two guests at the same time. Oh, feels really? good. This is okay. the first time. Yeah, it feels very kind of Shark Tank-ish, like we're pitching you guys on our show right now. <laughs> what would you pitch? pitch I'm trying to think of what you would pitch, because you feel like you're trying to sell me a million ideas a day when I'm with you. So we do a podcast where we interview a girl in the way of sex with her. That's what I want to pitch on Shark Tank. First I want of all, to know first of all, first of all, well, fuck the Shark Tank question. Yeah. I want to know <laughs> if that bald dude will invest in us. What would Mark Cuban say? Like He would probably have to be like, well, it's not a bad idea, right? It'd probably be like a GoPro for your cock. Oh, so you're thinking we should just like create some products associated with the porn podcast yes ah. because then after people watch plug talk they'll be like yo i should get that because here's the thing about porn right so every single time i watch porn i'm like hey that's my cock i'm doing that to that lady he's a big thinks he's in POV there guy oh yeah. big so if you have if the pov angle's great but if you have actually like a small well for you a big camera on your cock oh, right. you know what i mean i've seen it i'm not gonna lie it's and, one uh, thing to make content it's another thing to make the product that everybody uses to make content like if you own apple and you make the iphone that's a really great business to be in if we could be all of us really because i think we have to do this business together if we could create like a cock camera yeah. cock that changes cam. the world you'd have to wear it like up here we're all like a quarter of Steve Jobs collectively. <laughs> Dude, exactly. Because if you go, you know, if you go, you have the handheld, which is fine. The cock cam, you cut in between. Like, I'm coming fast. Yeah. Fast. Lickety split. Well, you know when you do like Madden, there's like the green screens. They put all those like dots on those little cameras over you. Yep. That's what we need. I mean, I, I'm doing three dots on mine. God damn. Michael Tufan Blaustein is doing stand-up comedy. Where is he going to be? I will tell you. September 8th to the 10th, I'll be in Tempe, Arizona. September 22nd, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. September 23rd, I'll be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. October 7th this is a new date. October 7th, I'll be in Los Angeles, California, doing an all-crowd work show only 50 seats so buy them tickets gonna go go fast october 16th i'll be in denver colorado october 20th i will be in honolulu hawaii november 2nd i'll be in houston texas november 3rd i'll be in dallas texas um in 2023 there's gonna be a wild amount of dates so stay tuned and uh go on blowcomedy.com blowcomedy.com for tickets mr wallace fuck all that your boys tour. back on tour you know are you that guy part two uh, we are going to be in Madison this weekend. Those all sold out. Whoop. I'm fucking excited. This is going to be awesome. Oxnard, Oxnard, Oxnard. It wasn't in the flyer announcement because I'm an idiot and don't revise things. <laughs> Oxnard, September 16th through the 18th. That's my hometown. Five shows. It's going to be lit. And then the tour. Boom, boom, boom. Fort Lauderdale, September 30th, Florida, Charleston, South Carolina, October 1st. Asheville, North Carolina, October 2nd. Phoenix, Arizona. I think it's sold out. Let's go, but who knows? Phoenix, we're probably going to add a second show. Uh, October 8th. San Francisco, October 15th. Also sung well. Houston, Texas, November 4th through the 6th. Also forgot to put that one on the flyer. Please don't yell at me. Everybody was like, no Texas on the tour. I was like, guys, it's right. Not there. Fuck. Grand Rapids, <laughs> Michigan, November 11th. Indianapolis, November 12th. Cleveland, Ohio, November 13th. Salt Lake City, November 18th. Boulder, December 8th. Fort Collins, December 9th. Oklahoma City, December 10th. Me and Young Grieve are both there that same night. Whoop, whoop. I'm going to try to have him pull up. I'll pull to his after. Tulsa, December 11th. New Haven, Connecticut, December 16th. Atlantic City, New Jersey, December 17th. Last one before we add any more. If we do, December 18th, Red Bank, New Jersey, where dreams come to happen. TrevorWallsComedy.com. TrevorWallsComedy.com. God damn. You guys are young. You never had a colonoscopy? No. I've had two. Oh, what? what? Yeah. yeah. You okay. One of them was for pleasure. But so I have a, <laughs> I have a fucked up colon. You know, me and okay. Pete Davidson got that like IBS stuff. You, know? you guys are the same. Yeah, I'm Pete Davidson. Yeah. Cameron. But um, yeah, that's the only way they can check the inside of your body. Have yeah. you ever heard the song IBS by Cameron? No. no. It's, Cameron's it's great. The best rap song about IBS? irritable bowel syndrome you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> really? <laughs> I swear to God. It's How amazing. Just, Opens with I be shitting or like, no, how li does literally like I'm pretty sure that's one of the lyrics. Yeah, it's amazing. <sighs> I love it. But Can anyway, what, the colonoscopy, like as a filmer, oh, shit. that really appeals to me because like you know you film skate and BMX, it's all about like really getting Low in there angle. with the yeah. fish eye. Get in there. I mean, there's no more the getting in there than eye. shoving a camera up your asshole. Yeah. Did the anyone have part. the footage? 
Well, the weirdest part is after the colonoscopy, the doctor was a fan. He's like, yo, I love your work. I was like, you no. just saw the inside of my asshole. Yeah. Oh, he should have kept weird. that to himself. Yeah, no, but this was like after us waking up where you're like, if you ever got put down. Are we got to go to sleep in, for this? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm doing I'm playing gonna, Tetris. I'm going to be up. <laughs> no, I'm trying to come. No, they literally, they're like, they rub something on your hand. <laughs> they rub something on your hand. Be like, all right, three, two. And then you just wake up and you're just violated. And then some guy's like, I'm a big fan of your work. You know who, who remembers my colonoscopy? Because I, I didn't, I couldn't eat for a oh, day. Yeah, you, I remember how hangry he was. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, it's the biggest day. You had to deal ever. with him for 24 hours. I could only drink he was Gatorade. The worst. For he, a he, day. he also claims that he like never recovered from that one day of not eating. I'm like, still traumatized. Six months later, he's like, I'm still hungry from that day that you made me not eat. Yo, That's that, fucked up. It messed me up in the head, really. <laughs> It's a, the weirdest day ever because it's, mine was like seven in the morning. I'm like in rush hour traffic, getting driven there. I can't eat, right? And I just, I, I'm like, get me out of this state. I need a restroom immediately. You need to drink that whole fucking gallon of stuff. I will say, I felt like I was about to do like an anal scene because I was yeah, flushed Eating out. is very important <laughs> to me. Good. Like I, I can't. Dude, we just, talk about this all the time. I yeah. hate it. Like I wish I could just take a key bump of protein powder and go off my day. Yeah. Like, are you a big, a are thing. you a big, like I need a whole meal yes. and a whole, oh, You don't really? like eating? I just think it takes too much I'm time. I'm fine. It's inconvenient. Yeah. So oh, it's terrible. God, it's like That's how I feel about shower. Pleasures in life. <laughs> shower, right? But like every every morning we got to, oh, scrambled eggs. We got to fucking. It's so oh, good. Yeah. Where's the I canola oil? I know? need that. I can't. I need it. No, I need it. I just, here's the thing. I live alone right now and I don't want to be the one doing that, you know? That's but fair. but if I had somebody, I'd be like, oh yeah, well, cook. you know, then it's easy. I love eating, but I just don't want to the process of it. Okay. If I you had know? that kind of attitude, I would have your kind of body yeah, fat percentage. You know, you like you're a skinny guy because you don't even <laughs> give a shit about food. To me, food is like every moment of the day. I'm thinking about what I'm yeah. eating next. Oh, definitely. No, I'm I'm right there with you. It's just the morning. It's like you oh, have like right, a sack of gummy bears for breakfast. Oh yeah, yeah. A couple of pixie sticks. <laughs> Yeah, dude, dude I'm, I've yeah, had I'm, rough days where I mix protein powder with coffee and then like athletic greens in one. I'm just like, what is happening in my life? <laughs> but I need dude, to get my but, shit together. But how annoying is it that every fucking five hours your body's like, hey, I need some shit. I hear my body up. starts making the noises. Like, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. like bitch. You I love when my body not? makes that noise. I'm like, I have an excuse to eat like thousands of calories right now. <laughs> I, and, and don't get me wrong. I love eating. It's just the process of it. You right. know? I wish I could just have one meal all day and then just go from there. Well, now I'm in a weird position because I'm trying to lose weight. So I'm trying to like let go of the comfort that I previously okay. got throughout my entire life through just eating bullshit, you know? And that's yeah. like, it's like losing a, a friend, you know? It yeah. is hard. So what are you losing weight for? Just uh, So we do porn. We do be doing porn. only plugtalk.com. And uh, <laughs> yeah, let's get into that. Yeah, I think what the are we best even doing thing, here? <laughs> my favorite thing about the show is the the headsets, the Steve Jobs, <laughs> the TED Talk microphones. I feel like Britney Spears when we wear those. It is because, like, as somebody who's just scrolling online, I'm like, look at these intellectual people. <laughs> and then I tap the link and I go, still intellectual. Talk in about a sexual gang bangs. <laughs> What's that? We're just talking about gangbangs, but we look professional doing it. <laughs> but that's the thing is like the, you add this to anything and I feel very like I should be taking notes. Like I watched the plug talk with a pen and paper and I'm like, oh, interesting. Sex. Whoa. That yeah, goes kind of funny because it's like it's we take them off before we have sex. Yeah. So right. why do they need to be so discreet and, and that is like funny. slick against Yeah, You could have these fucking giant things over that's here. That's what I'm saying. Too. But that, that was like a conscious like decision we had to make when we started plug talk is like do we do a set like this where we have because my no jumper set is like basically like this where you yeah. have three cameras on tripods and then you have mics that swing around and it seems like that works good mm -hmm. but we were like no like if we're gonna do it we gotta film it like real porn we can't just have set angles you know we're gonna have to have a real cameraman if we're gonna do that well yeah. we should have you know clip on mics but then we realized like of course you have to take the mics off before you have sex so and even like that half hour it takes keep to it on dude asmr style that will be kind of hot. I'd listen. Do one episode ASMR. So I'd hear, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, I do think that's a great idea, though. I there wish that we didn't need the mics. I wish that we could just go right into the sex instead of cutting and taking the. They're, they're really Fuck the podcast you know? angle is what you're saying. But they need like <laughs> a. Uh, they need like 20 minutes to like swab their vaginas and like Whoa. use their different we oils. And we brush our teeth. Kind of like, hit me up when you're ready. My yeah, my demeanor. Yeah, my demeanor <laughs> on set is. Leave me alone. I need to smoke weed in between everything that I'm doing. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm busting out. I need to smoke a spliff. Like, we're, oh, we're about to shoot. I need to smoke a spliff. Like, oh, like, like everything is an excuse for me to smoke weed because a lot of times on set, dude, I got to bust like three, four nuts in a day. Damn. Three, four nuts? Yeah. Hey, we're trying to maximize our, our content. Because it's Be like, efficient. it's, oh, it, you got to dot, you got to shoot it up for, for a, the day. I can just do that. Like, I just have that power. Like, so I might as well. And it's like, if we want to shoot, you know, like, I'm, I'm so busy with no jumper that's like, yeah. If we have a day on set, I should probably do like two, three scenes just to right. get a lot of content. Okay, done. so the third or fourth guest that day, 
y'all are all essentially Eskimo. I'm usually the fourth guest. I'm usually it's usually like in our bedroom, and I'm like, she'll like try to squeeze a scene out of me. For her. <laughs> Listen, no. Karen oh, makeup costs a lot yeah. of money. She's I'm like, trying to make true. the most money off you of it. You already busted three nuts today. Is it cool if I get one more out of you? And I'm like, holy, you're fuck. a filmmaster. Like, the do, prep between you guys is so this? different and so funny. Yeah. Yeah, do, does, is it does the weed like is it like an aphrodisiac for you? Because when I smoke weed, I get like I'll fuck a refrigerator, like I get <laughs> horny. Is it like a, do you smoke? And you're like, oh, because my that like you literally, back. dude. When I smoke weed, I have to decide if I'm gonna eat right or jerk off. Like, if there's eat or beat, it, baby, it, dude. It's a it's a and it's like a crazy decision, dude. It's just like a reset mentally oh, for okay. me. It's like okay, this yeah. is like it marks the end of that chapter. Like okay, we're done that. I get a little high. Eat a little, you know, bag of trail mix. Bag of trail mix. I feel like you fuck. smoking makes you That's normal. Tight. Like I feel like you're not normal. <laughs> Level, and then out. you smoke Level and you're like out. brought back to baseline. I don't want to talk to him before he smoked weed. When I say that Damn. I'm thinking about slowing down or, or quitting smoking weed, she recoils in horror because she thinks I'm just gonna be a huge asshole when I don't smoke. But it's not true because we've been on vacation a bunch of times where, where I didn't you're smoke a huge and I was asshole. mad chill. <laughs> No. Damn. Let's That's not, not recap it in it. London. Okay. Oh, oh, London. Talk to him. <laughs> yeah, I'm the same way with caffeine, but like, I, if I don't oh, have it. I'll be like oh, crying if I, yeah. stop, if I stop It's so funny. Coffee. My mom used no, to say not. shit when I was a kid. She'd be like, don't talk to me until I have caffeine. I'm like, all right, what is this, a Forever 21 t-shirt? Oh, you, now, yeah, you don't even want to look at her, think <laughs> about her until she's had caffeine. So you guys wake up and you go outside, you take a couple ribs and then you get some espressos and then you're like, all right, now we can... Now we can actually talk. But you guys well, have what? One kid together? We yeah. have one kid. You just wake up and it's just chaos immediately. immediately. Yeah. Yeah. You just look at your child and be like, I need a joint. I need a coffee. How does this work? It's like waking yeah. up in a mosh pit. <laughs> it oh, really is. Fuck. Just constant yelling. And but there's only one person talk, in the mosh pit. It's just like <laughs> constant. Like she's yelling mama constantly. And I'm like, I'm right here. I'm right in your fucking face. Here, How here, many I'm times here, are you going to say here. my name? She's so sick. <laughs> Let me so ask you this. Is it worth it? Because every parent I talk to, right, they go, they say all this bad shit. Right, mm -hmm. and then they go, yeah, but it's worth it. Mm. it is. is it though? I think so. Yeah, it's like a. What are both of you guys like? Nah, no, it's a <laughs> lot of bad stuff in the short term that ends up with something that means so much that it outweighs all the right. bullshit. But also, okay. for as much as I complain about it, I know that in 15 years, when she's in high school, I'm gonna miss this time yeah. so bad, okay. where she would yep. just let me hold her and take her around everywhere yeah. and wanted to snuggle me. You know, yeah. it's like it's it's hard, but it's good, dude. Because the trajectory of kids is hilarious, right? You spent all this time, all this fucking money, all this effort to like raise this little thing with no frontal cortex right and then they become 15 16 and they go i hate you yeah fuck you yeah that's why like i was doing the airplane yeah. applesauce every yeah. night for five years i feel you like when me? she says i hate you i'm gonna say like oh that's so cute like, <laughs> or my, my, my dad would be, like, he'd be like you don't mean that you don't mean that yeah i mean i really like don't give a fuck about what anybody thinks about me so i feel like i also probably won't really care what she thinks about me Maybe yeah. that's naive. No, that's, a, that's, that's a deep naive. moment. I like that. You got to tell her that just to yeah. fuck with her. I remember the first time I yelled at my dad, I didn't know how to cuss, but I knew the words. So I called him a fuckhead one time. <laughs> that's good. Oh, I got my ass beat. I didn't know how to use the context of fuck, but it was like, as he sent me to my room yeah. on the walk up, I was like, whatever you fuckhead. It was like a beat of silence. And then yeah. you just hear the chair scoot back from that table. Oh, dude. Then you hear one of these. Get the you, belt got, you got beat with a belt? No, he pulled his pants down for me. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> no, he, yeah. No, look like, at this dick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm not going to beat you. I'm going to make you say, look at my cock. I'm not going to say fuck again ever. Look at it. No, he beat the shit out of me with that belt. Wow. Dude, first of all, I called my, yeah, yeah. call my bitch one time. She threw an entire bowl of cereal at me. Like a, like a whole bowl, chock with full. Milk? Oh, son, with what cereal. What are we talking? Raisin Bran? It was a- uh, Raisin uh, Bran would fuck your face up. That shit's sharp. What is- <laughs> <laughs> what is the uh, not cinnamon toast crunch? The the fr French toast crunch. What the fuck? Someone. What is going know. on in that it's house? It's cinnamon toast crunch, but it's French toast. Yeah. Thank uh, God. They have that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's fire. But no wonder it, she threw it at your face. She's trying to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Just bitch. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy. So you have this. You have a child. You have many different entities. When people recognize you, most of the time it's for no jumper stuff. But every once in a while, there's a dude like, "Yo, nice cock." Yeah. Exactly. Like okay. every once in a blue, like I'll say hi to like a hundred people in a day, and then one of them will be like, brings you in too quick. "Hey, man, I'm really fucking with that plug talk." <laughs> <laughs> it's like the most random fucking but, dude. Always, it's like a wait, uh, like yeah. a bus boy, or like yeah, the, the least like distinguished person yeah. of the people <laughs> the guy, I said hi to. Yeah, that yeah, day. The guy at Cheesecake Factory. Yes, yeah. or no, but what really blew my mind is so okay. I didn't. Uh, so basically, super short version of my come up is that I 
been riding BMX bikes since I was yep. like 12. I started this BMX website when I was 22. I did that for like 10 years. And then the no jumper thing takes off and all of a sudden I'm interviewing rappers and shit like that. So I didn't ride BMX bikes for three years straight. I get a bike. I go to the skate park with my friends. We filmed like a little vlog riding and everything. And like as I'm leaving the skate park, this fucking 10 year old kid is just like, oh God, hey, man, Adam, nice meeting you. Keep doing those good pornos with Lena. Oh my God, no. Like a child. And, yeah. But he was with like older kids. So I kind of felt like the older kids told him to go say that. Oh, gosh, gosh, oh, gosh. gosh. Either way, kind of mind blowing. I'm like, should I not even be at the skate park? Do people ever just say that to you guys like when you guys are at a restaurant or something? Like, hey, we enjoy your content. Well, people who come up to me and say, I enjoy your content, they always, they'll they be like, I mean, you're like your YouTube content. They always feel oh, like they, they have, have to clarify. Just, just fuck with them. Be like, well, what other content is there? Yeah. They're like, well, you know. you know. One time I was <laughs> vlogging and I met, uh, you know, Style Bender from the UFC. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He just like came up to me and Lena. He's like, Lena, I've seen all of your films, sir. I've, <laughs> oh, like, I'm like, a big fan of your work. work. Yeah. <laughs> Some shit like that. Like, and he could beat everyone's ass. So you're like, you sure have, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, but I wouldn't care if anyone said that. He wants but, everyone like, to buy my porn. That is a good point, though. Definitely. Like, it, yeah. Like, I got. I pretty much would have had to let him say whatever he wanted to say to her, right? You can, what, what am I going to do? Yeah. yeah. Just, I mean, it would have pissed kill you me. off, right? Like, it's like, you, you're not, you, we make porn together. You want people to see it. So yeah. obviously people No, no, right? I'm not mad at all, but I'm watching it. I'm just like confronting the fact that I'm a pussy. And if he had really like said something offensive, like, what am I going to do? You don't look like, I mean, to, comparatively him, we're all giant pussies, but you don't look like, can you fight? Because you look no. like, really? No. If well, I, I saw, saw you in the dark alley, I would shit myself. I, maybe when I was younger, I was like hopped up on testosterone a little bit, but like at 38, no, I don't think I could fight anybody. God. No. I've all never right. seen him get into a fight in the six years that I've known him. Maybe, maybe if he gets off weed, he'll just start fucking killing people. There you go. Yeah. No. There'll be a lot more road rage, but I don't know about fights. We have armed security at the store, which like says a lot about how I feel about fighting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just feel like I'm past it. I didn't get yeah. to this point in my yeah. life to scrap with somebody in the alley. I got alley. neck pains. I can't deal with yeah, this shit. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I saw a clip where somebody pulled a gun on you mid-podcast. Yeah, yeah and, um, Yeah, I don't know how Hold I'd on. react what? to that. Yeah, what? you were just recording. Somebody just glocked up. It was a fake gun, but oh. we didn't know that. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. Mm. They just colored the orange tip with a Sharpie or something? Uh, I don't know what he did. Yeah, I think it was spray painted or something because it didn't have an orange tip. That would have been a pretty dead giveaway. Even if it was an orange <laughs> just tip. Just a I'd cap like, gun? Right, take me out. Well, take you know what would be fire is just put an orange tip on a real gun. On a real oh one. Because then you could be walking around, <laughs> the cops could be looking at you, and they're never going to think it's real, right? Yeah, you can't also walk into like a Claire's and be like, give me all your fucking jewelry. And they're like, oh, it's fake. You're right. He's normal. Dude, if you have a gun and you robbed Claire's, <laughs> I mean, kill they yourself. The, they got the piercing guns. Be like, yeah. try me, bitch. I grew up thinking of Claire's as like the fancy spot where the cool girls in school went. Oh, that oh was. yeah. No, they were so it hot. It was never was. fancy. It's so cheap. Well, then yeah, the one but, edgy kid would get his ears pierced at Claire's. I like, come from pretty Claire's. humble beginnings in New Hampshire where if you had Claire's money, you were doing something. Damn. What about Hot Topic money? Oh, yeah. I, that I was, was more expensive. There. I got caught shopping in there when I was 13. Yeah, I got caught shopping at Zoomies actually when I was in 2017. No, this Volcom was a, shirt or something? It was a uh, Neff beanie actually. Uh oh. <laughs> and here's how fucking much of a pussy I am. I put the beanie in my pants to steal it. And then I bought something so it didn't seem sketchy. And right. as I'm checking out, the guy goes, you probably should take that beanie out from under your pants. And I was like, what? He's like, we have cameras all over. There was nobody in there. Of course we're watching cameras. Wow. I was a sketchy guy just looking around with beanies like this. I was like, who shops? And you didn't get arrested? Sky? No. Oh. This was this was like, I was probably like 16 or something. The way the world has changed, though, I feel like nobody gets arrested for shoplifting anymore. Or stores have like no chase policy, which is weird. Yeah. You just like leave. I don't I don't really know how that works. Right. Or you just pull a gun, but give me the well, beanie. They, they just, with, with an orange tip on. Yeah, with an orange tip on. They don't want the liability of like tackling you in a Target parking lot, which I, I guess mean, makes sense. Well, I was can, also you, can you imagine working enough. at Target and then... And you actually wanting to chase them? It's like, dude, I'm making 17 an hour. Exactly. I'm not yeah, chasing yeah. someone down. Yeah. You just, yeah. you'd have to steal something that, like, there was one left that I wanted after my shift. <laughs> but you think you know? that anytime yeah. you have security, like, what, what is this guy really going to do? Dude, over, that dude over the too. pandemic to, in, in Ralph's, bro, they, they had like, Ralph's for always real. has security. Ralph's is. Why good spot? It's why the Ralph's on Sunset, yeah, dude. The one right on the place. That's, that's why the Ra Rock and Roll. Ralph's. There's a Citizen app just for that. It's literally called Rock and Roll. No, no, no. It's literally called Rock and Roll Ralph's. Okay, okay. Dude, you it's go up in that bitch. It's like Citizen in there. You just start swiping left and right on crimes. There's it's a Rock nuts. and Roll McDonald's in Chicago. I've been to that one. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever heard the Wesley Willis song about it? Uh. uh Rock and roll McDonald's. You should check it out. Yeah. Why is it called Rock and Roll McDonald's? It's got a party vibe. 
Oh, I don't okay. know. It's Isn't got like some unique architecture. Of the, of the yeah, guitar outside of it. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. But that answer together. Is it's perfect. got a lively vibe. It's got a good vibe. God damn. So you probably heard about microdosing, okay? If not, just know that all sorts of people are microdosing daily to feel healthier and perform better. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies, dude. Microdose sure Gummies are. deliver perfect entry level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good, bro. They also really do taste and feel amazing. Yeah, I use do. them to help me get in the zone. Yeah. When doing creative work at night, help wind down, chill out, sleep like a baby. Jerk off. I was just going to say, touch myself. We should do a podcast, dude. But I will say, microdose gummies all around 10 out of fucking 20 for me, daddy. Because me, if I have THC too much, dude, I get freaking weird, okay? I turn into a water buffalo. I'm like, hey, I should work at Crook Wireless. I don't want to do any of those things. Yeah, but when yeah. I'm high like that, I think it's a good idea. But a microdose, entry-level THC, is great for you me. You don't get okay? too zip-zapped and zopped. Yeah. Who wants to be that? Not me. Not me either, it's okay? A nice, chill, mellow ride. Yeah, and also when you're microdosing, dude, you can actually do things, dude. Yeah. If you're too high, you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Am I a puzzle? I think I'm a puzzle. Am when I I'm a too bearded high. dragon? Maybe. I'm not. You're not. Because I haven't taken microdose gummies. <laughs> exactly, dude. Micro Warning, these don't actually make you a bearded dragon. But they also the best website URL, I think, ever. What is it? Microdose.com. To learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and use code SOCKS to get free shipping. Free. Dog, what? F-R-E-E. Free. free shipping free. and 30% off your first order. Holy shit. that's a great shit. deal. Fuck. Promo code SOCKS, microdose.com, 30% off and free shipping on your first order. Wow. Go do it. Feel zen. Feel healthier. God damn. Man. My I cock wish... is hard. Is it? Yeah. What have you been taking, bro? It's called Blue Chew. I've never heard of it. What is so, it? Well, I'll tell you. It's what? a chewable pill with the same active ingredients as Cialis and Viagra, but in a chewable format. But I'm young and I don't have trouble getting my cock hard. Well, you don't need that. Okay. Well, you still get erect quick. Yeah, but what about that round two? That's why I have a problem. You know, it's My girl stamina. always wants me because I'm so goddamn hot. She always wants me round two, round three. This is Dude. why she rated you a seven. Who? But yeah, it's like you you, you <laughs> think of erectile dysfunction, you're like, oh, I gotta be like at least 43 for that. No. No, it happens It happens to the best of us, dude. And that's why Blue Chew is an incredible product. And dude, it comes in discreet packaging. Discreet. Who the hell wants it to come in neon shit that on the top of it says my cock is soft like al dente pasta? No one. You don't got to go to fucking CVS or Ralph's and be like, hey, and what's up, dude? Oh, yeah. whole thing, whole nine yards. No, you don't want to even do all that. This is easy. Ship to your door in a discreet Whoa. package. And guess what? What? Dude, it's free. What do you mean? Well, you got to pay for the shipping. That's it. Just like five bucks. Hold on. So this is five bucks of shipping and the actual product is free? Product's free. So I take it, I chew it, you get yeah. rock hard from my lady? Yeah, dude, just try your first month free. All you have to do is go to bluechew.com. Whoa. B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W. Yep. Dot com. Yep. Bluechew.com. Whoa. Blue and Chew. use promo code SOCKS. That would do it. Hear that? That's that my cock. cock. Bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Bluechew for sponsoring, for sponsoring this the pod podcast. <laughs> God damn. Have you ever been to Wiener Circle in Chicago? No. I you know don't know if I've been, I think I've only been there like one time out here. That's a place. I don't know if they do anymore, but like they talk shit to you, right? And then you used to be able to pay $20 to the chefs back there. And they would, it was called milkshake. They'd flash their tits and turn the lights on and off, on and off, and then flash their tits. W w w women tits? Yeah. Okay. How many, but, but these are fry cook energy. Yeah. How many <laughs> chefs have tits that That's, you would want to see? But but it's more like it's just a bunch of like drunk frat guys. Be like fucking milkshake. But how do you not get sued as a business owner where you're hiring yeah. a chef and you're like, yeah, you're gonna have to put your titties out at one point? Like, doesn't that <laughs> just seem tits? like an yeah. article to you? Yeah. Like, you're like, you're like cut the, cut this yeah, green pepper. Also, let me see your tits. Like for sure, arrested. <gasps> Those chef who's trying to take it serious in the back because yeah. like, it's too dark <laughs> in here. Yeah, I don't think they still do it anymore. I think uh, I think that was a quick I mean, spam. But any Chicago. Imagine even being the manager at a who and like every chick you hire you're gonna like listen you're gonna be rampantly sexually harassed the entire every day every all moment above the age, you work 67, here yeah that's just how it is they get so excited when there's a postmates order they're like we don't have to talk to anybody fuck yeah here but you know it. there's hooters managers that are out here getting sued for not oh, protecting yeah. the, the, the if you're a dude you know? and you work at hooters let me talk to you what the yeah. fuck's going on in your life if you're a single man walking into hooters what's happening what is it go talk to your kids how yeah. hot do you guys think you guys are seven where am I? I think it's all context. If I'm in New LA Hampshire, 7? I'm a 12. 
Yeah. If I'm here in LA, I think uh He's got I a think, big ego. So he's no, gonna no, say no, a number I, and he believes no, it's high. I was looking at him thinking, like, I bet this guy could fuck some girls. Oh, yeah. I, he, I, he I, have, I have a girlfriend, but prior, right. oh I'll fuck. You got a decent, <laughs> you got a decent chin Get on Get him on Thanks, man. Yeah. Give um, yourself a number. I think I'm uh I think I'm about a eight, like an eight, eight point five. Can we get your thoughts? On him? Or all of us, really. Both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put me on the spot here. You're uh, a 12. I'm a 10, yeah. Well, I'm a 10. <laughs> really? You can just go 10. <laughs> I'll give you an 8. Wow. Thank you. Long I'll pause. I'll give you a uh, 7. Why? You think he's better? Oh, okay. <laughs> bitch, 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 bitch. But <laughs> <laughs> you got to humble him, you know? Because he's the guy with the ads good work. on that the show. Good content. <laughs> there we go. Here's there the thing. we go. Edgy Clip content. it. Here's the thing. Uh, look, why? Because you gave yourself a higher number I knew than it. I That's what I'm deserved. saying. Because uh, no one w- wants a guy who, who who knows or thinks he's so hot. I don't you know. you he, say that. I think you are not the kind of girl who wants that kind of guy. But I think when you go to like the club and you're looking at these bitches who are yeah. standing on couches and shit, no, they want a hot guy who thinks he's hot. I don't want a guy that's too hot. I would never trust him. Damn. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Hold up. Hold so up. Funny. I don't I want think a guy with an eight pack who like makes yeah. selfie videos on TikTok. No, but she, I don't want that. Because okay, I'm gonna be real with you. She is full of anxiety and doubt, and that's why <laughs> yeah, every woman she ever. Does not, yeah. She does not see herself as being able to be with a truly beautiful man. You couldn't be uh, with a Conan. And Rada a Fabio. just got cheated on. I cannot trust she hot did. men. Wow, Damn. they're having a divorce. Really? Yeah. Damn. Oh no. So she's here's single. the thing, but I think I think Adam's hot. Yeah. I think he's hot too. I like dad bods. I got a dad bod. I love a dad bod. But yeah, but she's f- full of. I angst. don't want a she, low body fat percentage guy. Because no you feel like it would trigger you. That's why me in <laughs> yes. my quest to lose <laughs> weight. Give me an eating disorder. She like I have to keep it secret from her. He no. talks about it so much. She's like day one of my diet complete. Oh, I'm like bro, if shut Adam, up. If Adam gets the V down here, you're fucked. If he gets them V muscles, yeah, I don't want a guy who's like I don't know. Yeah, like because you're afraid Italy. that they're gonna go fuck. No, because then I feel like I have to be like your fit fam girlfriend. Like, I don't want to be also super fit with you. But I just I'm kinda drawn want us to, to both life, be so. like mid. No, I want to be like in a like a workout couple. Really? Uh, Jim Shark sponsoring a relationship. It seems fun. There's a lot of structure, a lot mm. of green juice. Yeah. A lot of hot dudes rolling around. It's, it sounds the, fun. There's this Vine dude, Lance210. Who, oh, for I some, know him. Yeah. Dude, so that for, guy's a trip. <laughs> yeah. So for some reason, I've, I've always just followed him on fucking YouTube and shit. And like, I randomly clicked on a video because he's talking about how much weight he lost or whatever. And it's just like him and his chick, they're both in rude ridiculously good shape like no body fat oh, really they go they do they go to the gym twice a day they eat this insane spartan diet like the strictest diet you've ever seen in your life doesn't seem like there's really that much else going on in their life besides just this and it's like there's a part of me that is like wow that is so cool it's not worth interesting. it interesting they have no social life they never go out to eat at restaurants it's not worth it if do you think if they had something better as an option that they would be doing that thing I don't know because I don't know anything about them. But I saw mm. like this TikTok of a shredded <laughs> girl and she wrote like, I got shredded and it's not worth it because she really? literally had like no life. Well, because that's the goal is to be shredded and then also be a normal person and be able to like go out at night and stuff. Not make which it we your know thing. these things don't necessarily agree with each yeah. other. You can't be out drinking alcohol and expect to be shredded at a certain point probably, right? Although, I mean, yeah. Jer- Jersey Shore would tell us otherwise. Yeah, you take a little bit of D-ball, a little some, bit of steroids yeah. and you're fine. I think there's a way to, I think there's a way to do it. I mean, you Happy just don't, you don't eat, you don't eat like a crazy person. You can still go out and not have like 48 drinks. But I think the problem is it's not even the drinking, it's like the sleep, right? Because if you're yeah. going out and partying. And day, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And when you're yeah. young, sleep is kind of whatever. But then when you get older, it's like, can you really be getting up at seven o'clock in the morning to work out and, and working all right. day and then also still have the energy to oh, yeah. go out at night, never mind to drink and then be able to get up early the next day? I mean, that burning, that's the main thing about being 38 is I just can't burn the candle on both ends like I did. 100%. Dude, that, that yeah. Peloton in my room be neglected. Really? <laughs> I'd be neglected. See, I've thought about getting one. It's great for like two months and then you're just like, ah, I'll get to it tonight. And then you get home from work or something. You're just like, eh. But you are not dealing with obesity in the same way that I am. I, 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 I feel like you're, I think yeah, you're in great shape. I think you have body dysmorphia. I got to lose this fucking fat belly. In order it looks to, cool with tattoos on it. Yeah. Kind of looks like a wine bag a little it, bit. It looks cool in the way that like Biggie Smalls look cool. That's she true. does, but it's also, okay, you're morbidly obese. Would you ever fucking, would you roid up? No. I, I did it when I was younger. Oh, shit. When did I was you, 21, did, I did, did a you look cycle. crazy? Do you have a photo yeah. of you back then? 
No, I never, no, because what it was is like I got fat as fuck, but I had been lifting weights really hard. And I had a friend yeah. who convinced me, like, you do a three month cycle, you'll be able to oh, cut dude. all the weight uh, by doing these weight loss drugs and shit. You'll be able to keep the muscle, which really kind of worked pretty good for a while. But then uh, I did like the three month cycle. It was fun. The craziest thing about it was just that I was, I was trying to fuck five times a day. I was jerking off Stand so much. Crazy. <laughs> so, just at so Planet Fitness same. beating your meat. Just like, God. Apparently, like, some steroids don't have this effect on you and mm. some really have this effect on you. Weren't but... you, like, more angry, too? Oh, oh yeah. I fought a meth kick. head. I forgot about that. You fought yeah. a meth head? Yeah, I was walking back from the gym <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> There was like a couple in front of me, like this fucking guy and this girl, like total nerds, like nerdy ass white people walking on the street in Queens. And there's Fuck a dude a who's like pretty much a meth head, like screaming, and he's like calling the girl a bitch. And the guy just walks past the guy, like doesn't say anything to the yeah, dude. Me. And so I'm fucking hyped up off the steroids. And so yeah. I walk right up to the guy and I'm like, hey, what the fuck are you saying to her? Boom! And all of a sudden, <laughs> what? I'm rolling around on the ground in the middle of the fucking sidewalk, fighting this fucking crackhead on the street. And it's like, in my head, I had a good reason to do it. But in reality, it's like, why would you, why, why not why just keep walking? Like, just let it go. That's the roids talking right there. Yeah, the roids were talking. Yeah. Yeah, I like, did a cycle of B-Bowl in college, bro. I was fucking I think everybody angry. did some sort of a steroid in college. I took one shot of steroids one day because my roommate was doing it. <laughs> one day. <laughs> I didn't know because I got nervous. I got nervous. You know, I was like, this is where my life ends. I'm living in a bunk bed in a fraternity house. So I did one. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, the pump that day, unreal. Wow. You better really? believe I walked around campus just I, like this I, all day. Pretty yeah. sure it takes like weeks to kick in so and doing one so shot. Yeah, 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 do yeah, the first one, it's it was it was nice. Psychosomatic. I would. It was, it was all mental. Yeah, it was yeah, all yeah. mental. But I, but yeah. I was walking around campus just flipping off trash cans, fighting pigeons. Oh, it was aggressive. <laughs> dude, Amazing. I've never been so angry during beer pong my entire life. <laughs> yeah, was I was so, dude. Yeah, because I was taking the D put it in the put it in the orange juice and just drink it for like three months. Whatever. Actually, however long the cycle was, I was lifting like twice a day. I was, and I'm not tall. I'm like five eight, but I had these. Fucky, whatever these, what are these traps? traps? My mm. traps were bananas. Like they yeah. went up to my ears, dude. And everyone's like, "You good?" I'm like, "I'm fucking good." Like I was yeah. in, dude. Beer. That's one thing I remember. It started to be hard to sleep because my fucking shoulders yeah, and shit were like building up so much that I like, couldn't get a good angle. Like, yeah. yeah, I kind of want cauliflower ear. You know how UFC fighters have that. <laughs> I kind of want, that. dude. Back in the day, you I used, get it. I used to skate back in the day, but all the cool kids, you, you probably know, so they all have like the, the tear marks right here on yeah, the shoes. Yeah. And like, I, I really wanted to be a good skater, and I thought that if I had shoes that didn't have that. So one night I just grinded it up on my board in like seventh yeah. grade to have the look and nobody gave a fuck. But I think <laughs> now I could just start punching my ear and yeah. have cauliflower ear in like six months. That'd be sick. No, because I remember going to the post office one time and there's like a 60 year old black dude standing next to me and he got the worst cauliflower yeah. ear ever. And I'm just thinking like, oh man, he must have been such a badass back in the day. Oh yeah. yeah. They can't surgically remove it. I think they no, can. I, I think it's a badge you, of honor though. It's, well, yeah, it's it is so nasty. You, you can. But I think that, to your point, it's like a badge of honor, so they don't. But yeah, you can. It's you funny can, like, if you drain don't know shit. what it is, and you're just like, "I've got a fucked up ear, huh?" <laughs> Somebody can never go to Claire's. Yeah, but yeah, All someone right. can never. Go to Claire's. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just, just like I just want one. We're like, if somebody's talking shit to me, and you see me on the left side, you're like, "This guy's a pussy." And then I turn, and it's just this catcher's mitt. Like, what's up? And they're like, never mind, never mind. Never You'll mind. do great with like the the UFC groupies and like other women. Yeah, like, it would only be oh, dudes that great yeah. complimented. Like, but sick I feel like though. every chick's a low key UFC groupie, right? You what? Have, like you have to be. It's so hot to like yes. look at a dude and like, yo, you're like a like a walking tiger. Right. That's hot. If you left me for a UFC fighter, I would just be like, well, I mean, I understand, you know. Yeah. I just kind of Is assume that, they all have anger issues. Yeah, but that's that's part of what you're drawn to, right? It's no. like you might beat me up at some point. That's like, you yeah, know, I'll like fucking a porn that star. That doesn't do anything for you, like a UFC fighter. What does it for you besides this gentleman? I have to think about this. I'm curious on plug talk. So, how many episodes deep are you guys? Um, because you got forty, maybe. My yeah, wow. that's what I'm thinking. It's like if I were to start a podcast right now, I would have all my closest friends for like the first twenty episodes. Yeah, all the biggest, coolest guests. But I think plug talk. Once you guys get up to like one fifty, are, are are you just flying out people from Kuwait? Like like yeah. it might run out. I mean, you're gonna I go mean, into it's like kind of tough because they have to do like a really re decent interview part so we can't just have you know like anyone on we have yeah, to have people right. who've been kind of pre-vetted they've been on other podcasts or we've talked to them in real life we know that they're like pretty good on camera because although sometimes we have girls on and we're kind of like uh yeah <laughs> we could be interviewed a little <laughs> short this is three minutes you know? how's your day for sure <laughs> Time to fuck. Pussy, yeah. yeah. But you know, most girls, they just have to suck dick on camera or fuck or whatever. So they, there's not a lot of talking, but then they go on the podcast mm. and they get, even girls who've been in the industry for a long time, they start yeah. to get really get nervous because no one's expected them to talk so much in a porn before. Interesting. Even though they're just supposed to be, be themselves. But also think about it. We got to do 52 girls a year and granted we're like still on year one, but I mean, there's 
new girls getting into the game all the exactly. time. Yeah, There's, yeah. you know, okay, that's true. Sometimes we do scenes with chicks who realistically were like way more popping like 10, 15 years ago, and okay. now they're like in their 40s, but we still do it because it's like the the fans think it's yeah. Sick, I guess know? in my and head, like, I thought that there would be like this, like you know how Joe Rogan's done like fucking forty thousand episodes. It's like, yeah. ran, and I was like interviewing the guy who made a tripod, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm sure there's other guests <laughs> out there. So I'm like, I wonder if for plug talk, if there's ever going to be like. Like, is there ever a week where you're like, we got to hit, we got to find somebody? No, that hasn't happened yet. Okay. And I do think that for certain guests, we'll probably just like have them back, you know? Yeah, that's true. Bring it back a couple, couple years ones. later. Who was the, the, the very first one? Adriana Chechik. That's the first one we dropped, yeah. Oh, she was in uh, a video of my buddies. Frequent podcast and YouTube appearances from her. She was great. She's great. How, she's yeah, she's how did this happen? I know you've been asked this a million times. How did this idea like even come about sorry to make it so interview but i'm just like Adam i'm saw how much money girls make on only fans and he was like <laughs> i want that no, the only fans just... checks are nuts but it Crazy. was more like it became a marriage of our two things like i was already doing only fans and doing it really well and he's done a lot of scenes with me but he was like how can we make this like a combined right well, business so vitaly uncensored are you familiar i know vitaly and i'm so is pranks but just tits yeah, yeah like so his his company that did his fucking site with him or whatever like they were hitting me up to basically like try to convince me to partner with them to do like a no jumper uncensored thing or, or whatever yeah. where we would have the girls take their tits out or whatever and i was i, I was talking about it with lena where i was kind of like I want to do this with you and I think that we should do like sex. And that company was sort of like, eh, we don't think we think it'd be better to keep it more soft core. Yeah. And Which me and her were so talking. weird to do when you've already been yeah. fucking online forever. Yeah. To yeah. like soft reel core. it back. HBO, yeah. let's fuck. <laughs> me and her genuinely enjoy having sex yeah. on camera and making this content and stuff. So it That's just beautiful. sort of seemed obvious to us of like, I don't think we need a partner. Let's just no. make this content and put yeah. it on OnlyFans. Yeah, you've made enough businesses and stuff, yeah. and both of you guys have. Yeah, and we figured we could hire people to help us with everything. And, and I mean, we actually genuinely enjoy it, which I think is what – that's a big part of what people like about it is that they can just tell that me and her are having a good time and that, you know, it's not – it's not fake. Like, and I think that's right. part of what the conversation helps with is the conversation makes it feel less fake because, you know, if you watch us talk for a half hour, it's a pretty good chance that the girl doesn't hate us, you know, like <laughs> so you would pick up on it. Right? right. Which is like kind of the thing is like, if you watch an intro in a porn movie, like the acting part, I mean, do they like each other? You don't fucking know it's acting, you know, no, like I the podcast thing, I think gives you a little bit more of a real dynamic, which to me, actually, that's the main thing with plug talk. If I was not the person making it, I think I would subscribe and I think I would be very interested. You wouldn't fast forward to the scene? No, I, I like the idea of the conversation and then it leading to sex. Like, I think I would be a customer if I wasn't the one making it. Have you ever had an episode, and you don't have to tell me specific, but have you had an episode where you like meet the person and you're like, I'm really not feeling like the first meeting, but then the actual conversation makes you be like, oh, I'm actually kind of attracted to this person. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. Sure. Or like a girl who I, I think like maybe she's going to be like shy and we're not going to have a good chemistry, but then yeah. we're like totally freaky and crazy on set, you know? Yeah. I've heard real male porn stars say, that if they're fucking a girl for the content, they can always find something that they're attracted to. Even if the girl is fucking hideous, they'll just, just focus in. Or not their type. Look at the nice person here. Just <laughs> not their type. Yin and the they'll yang. focus in on uh, their, the for like manicure, patch pedicure. of skin on their back. Yeah. And just think about that patch of skin. Oh, and that, that will back. allow them to transport themselves. But I say that just to say, I could be fucking a girl on, on camera who... I genuinely think is attractive or I could be fucking a girl who I like her personality enough right. that that makes me think Something. she's more attractive. He'd really fuck anything. He's lying. Yeah. But <laughs> the situation where you like don't like the way they look and you hate their personality, that could be difficult. Wild. But we we haven't ran into that too okay. much. You know? Dude, how do you, so does this, does a plug talk sort of, how do I articulate this? Like essentially in your marriage, right? You have like a, are you got you guys are fucking obviously outside of like the plug talk, right? So do you do you consider like the plug talk fucking like part of the marriage fucking? Does, does that There's question make I any mean, sense? I mean, it is nice when it's scheduled into our week and we didn't have time to have sex personally, yeah, yeah, okay, and right. we're like, okay, well, at least we got to fuck True. on camera. If that happens for too many weeks in a row, then we're kind of right. like, all right, we're neglecting our relationship a little bit, and also we get turned on by thinking about the scenes we did previously that week. So it's always nice God. to fuck alone and like sort of mentally recap what we did together on set. Right. Like in comparison, you know? the other day I fucked the shit out of her while she was on her period, and it was like a fucking bloodbath. It was kind of like the shirt. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. But, that's still. On 
on the shirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this actually was from that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> that feels profoundly different where I'm like, I'm no looking judgment, at your fucking no eyes. There's no camera. The lights yeah. down low. We're in the bed, you know. You're or playing like, Bon Jovi in the background. It's getting and nuts. You, yeah, exactly. Uh, no, no. We actually listen to R&B for the first time. Because we never time, listen like, to ever. music. And, oh, and my, I was my, there. My co host on No Jumper, AD and T Rao, yeah. wow, they've previously given me shit. Like, oh, you don't listen to R&B. They're like, well, what do you listen to when you have sex? I'm like, fucking nothing. The laundry air. machine. I don't, like, I don't nothing. Birds you know? outside. But so I, for some reason, like, I was waiting for her to get done in the bathroom. And I thought to myself, I go to Apple Music, I type in sex playlist. No. Oh, I got him. It came up with like the default R&B playlist. The first song was like Summer Walker. I don't remember who else, but Summer Walker's great. We're rocking out. We were having sex. Your thrusts were different that night. It felt a little you bit more romantic, on, didn't it? Yeah. Were you on B? You are? Like well, I used astronaut? to fuck her to smoke <laughs> purple ball. all the time back in the day. When I was <laughs> He's I was not lying. The, yeah. But those are great because those songs are a minute 20. So you're going through you're a whole good. discography you know, on repeat. Back in the day, though, like our old school, like club night, like drug infused, alcohol infused fucking like threesomes that we would have with random girls we had just met was very SoundCloud rap and Yo, bad yeah. and bougie. Because remember on YouTube, yeah. there was like a year period where every YouTube video you would watch, it would play bad and bougie afterwards. Just that, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> how. I, pushing I, it. I, but for some reason, like no matter how drunk I was, I would leap out of the sexual experience to go fucking click change next because I was it. so over hearing or bad and bougie. Or if you had to hear the ads again. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. I paid for premium. Oh, no. Dude, we that's do funny. Ads here. I'm a full-time YouTuber. And I don't pay for a premium. Wow. I don't are know you, what I'm doing. You, are you, you homeless also? Up. That's like, yeah, I, I, I just never thought about it. I, what? Well, I'll watch ads on my own videos and I'll be like, yeah, rack it in, crap. <laughs> rack it in. No, but there is a good reason to do that, which is that you know about what kind of ads are running on YouTube. Oh, my yeah. I have no yeah. idea because I haven't had YouTube premium for like fucking eight years or some shit, like since they came out with it. So I don't know what people are advertising. So I'm kind of missing that information. Is true. It, I think it varies by video because I did this entrepreneur character and every ad is like, are you 25 at home living with your parents and you want to make it out of the suburbs? <laughs> it's like that. Yeah. But then all the other ones are just like random ones. I keep getting this one that's called his cox and it's like insurance, but I'm like, it's called cox. What are we doing here? His right. cox? <laughs> I'm interested in a different type of cock. <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. So are my fans. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's interesting is I do think the people want to listen to the podcast portion of everything. All of our biggest podcasts were with the ones with like the porn stars mm. and it's it's like an hour and some change long. And you would think that people would be like, I'm only here for tits. But it's like the stories they have are so different. And it varies so much how they get into it. It's really fascinating. Yeah, I feel like I kind of pioneered the genre, to be totally honest. I feel like I was one of the first people really doing like non-porn podcasts yeah, that's yeah. interviewing po porn stars like <laughs> yeah. Riley Reed back in the day and Remy yeah. LaCroix and girls like this. And like, I feel like it is kind of insane to see how normalized it is to have pod, uh, porn stars on your podcast just yeah. because it was so well thank you i dude. got such a fucking reaction like people thought i was crazy for for really? just treating porn stars like human beings like people were genuinely like angry and defended and i still get a little bit of this the from my audience weird, yeah. being like I, I we're here for rappers we don't want to hear from a porn <laughs> yeah, star yeah, yeah. and it's just like dude you, you don't have to click it you can just keep moving yeah. like but i feel like podcasts and youtube videos and stuff in general have really helped to normalize porn stars because oh yeah if you watch logan paul videos or mike majlax fucking vlogs or whatever it's like you just get to see a bunch of porn stars acting like human Anyways, beings yeah. and it yeah, kind of yeah. makes it harder for people to think that they're freaks you know mm -hmm. what was the catalyst for you to start having porn stars on were you just like i, I I'm, I'm fascinated about like, their backstory them. type hilarious <laughs> <laughs> this is when he was single so like it's like oh yeah mm -hmm. oh well dude no wonder <laughs> great well, we'll talk for 50 minutes huh <laughs> Have I ever, back in the day before you, did I ever do an interview with a porn star and then have her end up coming over that night and hooking up? Yes. Do I understand Adam. why they would want to hook up with someone that they just had a really great hour long conversation with on camera? Yes, I totally it's understand. It's a recorded date if you think about it. But it's not, I, I, I interviewed a lot of chicks back in the day that didn't hook up with, whatever. Yeah. Like even back then, I knew this is a thing. You have to be very careful about this. Yeah, like, no, yeah, you can't be like fucking four not, interviews or two whatever. Two minutes in, be like, so would you fuck me? Just yeah. out of curiosity. The, the now he does. Now he does the Patreon, and him and his co host are always like, who would you fuck, him or me? It's like an everyday conversation for you. <laughs> but it is funny because now with Plug Talk, Every chick I fucking interview on the No Jumper Patreon or oh. right, porn stars or whatever, they kind of inevitably are just like, hey, I'll do Plug Talk with you and Lena if you want. And yeah. 
Oh, yeah. You probably have a lot of people that hit you up to do this stuff. Because we had, like, a few porn stars on just as a podcast. But then, like, the next day, our DMs are just It was like, wild. Oh, just, yeah. yeah. All blue as check soon as like, you I'm trying let to the world know, like, you will have only yeah. fans girls on Dog, your podcast, it's... your DMs will be flooded. Because yeah. Zumi sends the link in the Telegram, and all of a sudden, it's on. Yeah, the numbers go up. Because they're it's... looking for any kind of promotion they can get, realistically, you know? Which, yeah, I mean, it's like, I think it works for both people. We get more views on the podcast. More people find out about the podcast, and more people find out about them. It's like, mm -hmm. I think that's why a lot of porn stars want to do the show. Yeah, somebody sense. was it Kendra Sunderland plugged her um uh, flashlight on the show sales were great that week but you guys already so you crazy. guys both have girlfriends uh he does I okay do, yeah. yeah so are you dipping and dabbling or what <laughs> here and there you know I'm trying to just really focus on career stuff but <laughs> a little bit a uh, little bit yeah. of both I'm starting uh plug talk volume two so you oh. know <laughs> Would it's you just, ever do it yourself? It's just me jerking off and then doing a podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, <that's a> <laughs> I watch that. I watch that. <laughs> no, but like, you know, like Theo Vaughn's podcast, he just sits there by himself and yeah. talks sometimes. That would be great. Like the bonus. Is like, <laughs> puts <laughs> his dick on and the then table. And the camera yeah. slowly. He's like, anyways. It would he puts be his dick on the table a... and smashes it with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Post nut jerk off. It would be the saddest podcast ever. You're just sitting there alone. You're like, man, I just want to go to sleep. I don't know what I just watched. Great. There was too many people in there. I don't know what was happening. They had sex in a McDonald's. God damn. This next sponsor is Prize Picks, dude. Okay? Daily fantasy at its finest. Gabe, you watch freaking baseball like an idiot. Yeah, okay. What do you like? Yeah, uh, this uh, Prize Picks is great, man. It's it's cool. You get to just, uh, it'll show you players and their projections for what they're supposed to do on any given day. Yeah. You know, is Shohei Otani going to strike out 10 dudes tonight? Yes, I'm going to take the over. Of course. Yeah, it's just over under. It's not anything like too mind boggling. How does prize picks work? Do you want me to tell you? Okay. Please. You pick two to five players, and if they will score more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 10 times your money on any entry, bro. Any entry? And you're not competing against other people. It's no. just you versus projections available, right? Yeah, dude. Think about all sports NFL, NBA. MLB, NHL, WNBA. golf. Entries can be made in 60 seconds or less. Dude, it's easy, safe, fast withdrawals. Currently uh, operates in over 30 states and Canada. And this app is amazing, dude. It's intuitive. Uh, the layout's insane. It's uh, The graphics are really cool. Dude, the app is like super, it's laid out nicely. It's yeah. quick. It's easy. It's I, What I like is it's just simple. The reason I don't do a lot of these big Vegas type things is because there's too much going on. The oh, parlays up and under. Somebody's always yelling, crying. This is just bing, 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 bing. It's just, it's there. It's yes, no. It's like up or down. Intuitive, it's, it's, dude. It's quick. Freaking love it. Okay. Easy. So, what do we got to do? Download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up and play daily fantasy sports. Okay, first time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with promo code SOCKS. If you deposit $100, Prize Picks will give you $100. Wow, that's insane. If you deposit $50, Prize Picks will give you $50. Bucks. Okay, don't forget to enter promo code SOCKS at sign up for an instant deposit match up to $100. Go do it. Pricepick.com. Promo code SOCKS. Yo. Goddamn. Burr, burr, burr. New sponsor alert. Support for this. Today's episode comes from True Classics. This brand's new sponsor has the absolute best fitting t-shirts, dude, I've ever seen. Gabe is wearing one right now. It feels freaking stupendous. I actually worked out in one two days ago. Dude, it absorbs sweat incredibly. It's an amazing t-shirt. It fits me great. The gray one's like really nice. Off. Yes, dude. Gray ones are always a little more soft, but these are really nice. Cool. Yep. No, the, the shirts are solid. They're everything you need. I like plain t-shirts. I like something that's simple, and, and, and they got those heaters. They got those fucking, the hug for that tug. This is right up on you, baby. But yeah, they, they also have more than just tees. You know, it's your one-stop shop for men's essentials. Super easy, super simple to fill out your wardrobe from polos and workout shirts. Same flattering fit. They got box of briefs designed with a pouch to keep your bulge big word bulge nice and comfortable do you have a bulge no. uh you know what's incredible about the true classic tees man they will make you feel your best by accentuating the places the eyes go to first wink wink that's your penis whether you have abs or flabs their clothes look great on all body types no honestly uh, I I packed a bunch of these shirts for the last trip uh, when I was flying. Great to fly with. Great to just like kind of wear around, but also just great to wear out. I ended up wearing them, one of them on stage on Thursday night. Super nice. Dude, my actually my girl slept in one, and she said it was super super comfortable. Nice. Yeah. So it's about time you learn how to dress yourself properly, dude. Upgrade your wardrobe with True Classic. Get twenty five percent off at TrueClassic.com. I know with code True Classic. 
Promo buddy. code sucks. Twenty five percent off and free shipping included on all purchases over a hundred bucks, dude. One hundred percent risk free guarantee with thirty day return policy. Stay classy with True Classic. God damn. Spe- speaking of watching, what do you what do you watch porn wise? What's what's the thing you're like? Do you do you click into things or you're just like, oh, this is work? I guess I like watching like group sex stuff. It's like a party that turns into sex or whatever. But I, I'm hot. watching for like what party two minutes. You? And, yeah, you watch what? I'm watching for two minutes. That's why people who watch our porn where it's like 30 minute conversation and then a 20 minute or 30 minute scene. I'm like, that's great that you're invested in this because I'm like clicking through to see what what exact part I want to. Oh, watch. I'm, a, I'm a big I'm a big part guy. Yeah. I can't. There's no narrative for me. Skip the around. best thing they ever did was introducing where you can double tap on mobile on Pornhub so you can like skip through the scene. Yeah. Dude, I'm big on mobile. He always talks shit. He's like, why are you jerking off with your phone? I'm if, it's, it's easy. Are you, it's yeah. are you a jerk off with the phone guy? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. What, what I'm saying. Fuck? You're the wrong you're, one. No. Fucking boomer ass over here. You got the whole listen, PC listen. Dell monitor over here. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. So you're you're. I watch like mobile, whole, mobile. I can watch porn here. You want to be here, in here, it. You here. want VR. Like you're trying to get in the that's scenes, true. as you said. I, that's what I'm saying. But I like it's like a big. Th- I, it's a session for me, dude. It's not. It's a not just. Session. It's not just like. It's not just like snack thing where I'm coming in three. Like I have a screen. I'm fucking. There's like there's sweat coming down from my kneecaps. Right. It's a whole. It's a Production whole experience. Oh, yeah, windows buddy. are cracked open. Yeah. No, I, no, I jerk off like uh, like I'm on timeout. Like oh, you got five minutes. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I jerk off like it's a five course meal. No, like, but I like that too, though. Like sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. if I'm in my fucking back, like, we have a back house in our house that has been named the Jack Shack because <laughs> I am known to hit a nut back there real quick. But like sometimes I'll have like two porn windows up at the same yeah. time okay. and I'm watching two scenes at the same time and I'm kind of yeah. going back and forth flipping it. At the same time? Yeah. What? Yeah, you just got to stimulate the You turn the audio off. But it's like, you know when you go to Buffalo already, Wild Wings and I already have the audio off because I'm scared you're going to walk up and hear it. Why don't you invite me? We can do it together. Because usually fun. you're like there's working out or something. There's something about it's just jerking off. Right? You know, it's, it's a different. Yeah, it's like nothing jerk personal. off with me. But I no. like watching porn. We've watched porn before, and then we have sex, and that's always fun. Oh, we or we leave that, it yeah. on when we're having sex. Well, yeah, that's other think, moans. While I think moaning. when we have sex, we should watch porn first for like 15 minutes. That's a long time. Okay. Damn. So do you? But you? But you still? <laughs> but you still masturbate? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So, but don't you feel like it's a different thing? Like it's sex, cool, oh, yeah. and self-care. then jacking off. It's self-care. like a different. It is self care, yeah. It's, it's like, like yeah, it's and like, it's like if I can't fall asleep, yeah, it's, like, it's a moment for you. Yes, it's a, dude, it's a it's a meditative thing. But my girl and I, at this point, we've only been together for a year, but we do have these moments where essentially she's like. Are, do you want to fuck? And I'm like busy or whatever. I'm like, I can't. She's like, all right, well, I'm going to go. And I'm like, do it. Yeah. And it's so, it's such a nice thing that that's an option. Yeah. You mm-hmm. masturbate. I play video games. Great. Yeah. No, I like that, uh, that you don't smoke weed. Cause I like to have something to myself, you know, I would yeah. hate if like when I go to smoke weed, I have to worry about, Oh, did Lena smoke weed? Yeah. Does Lena want me to roll a blunt or that whatever? Would be so annoying. Yeah. I don't care. Oh, I don't yeah. Smoke. It's just like, you know, I'm <laughs> yeah, so much happier alone, having man. it be part of my life. It's not like food where like, you know, if I order a salad and you want a salad and I don't order the salad, I'm a dick because I should have mentioned to you that I'm Which getting salad. Which you do salads. quite often, but it's, it's happened okay. a few times. But <laughs> yeah. I'm glad oh, that been there. I don't have to think about that with weed. Yeah. So the jack but, but, it is, but it is annoying though, where like if you're if you're a big like whatever, uh, like a Dallas Cowboy fan and all of a sudden you're with a girl and then all of a sudden six months later she's a big Cowboy fan, you're like, no, 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 no. This was a. I, I, I want to. I want to do a thing now. Yeah. Now I have to invite you to the games. And, and but Adam really wants me to get into poker. He's really into poker. And Dude, the last you big into poker? He's yeah. been trying to get me into poker. I fucking love it. Where do you play? I love. I will play mostly at home, and then if I'm on the road, like casino wise. Oh, like home games? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Are you Are you like a big like find like weird under underground type no, shit? I play online. Uh, I play tournaments <laughs> online. I play cash games, uh, low stakes cash games on ACR. And I uh, play, I, I played the main event this year and stuff. Oh, you did? Yeah. How, how, how was that? I did not cash the main event, but I made it to day three. And, but Dude, I, crazy. I got 25th in the thousand dollar mystery bounty tournament, which was yeah. like 800 K for first. And I got 25th Damn. for like 34 K. So, oh, so you're playing a lot. Eh, no, those yeah, are, those, those are my first thing. live tournaments. I would be playing a lot if I wasn't a dad. Because right. like making the decision between poker or dad, it's kind of like poker. No, like, <laughs> you can't look yourself once in, in a while. Yeah. Like, like once in a while, once like a poker while. over yeah. being a dad. But yeah. like for the most part, it's just like I have to do like com- directly compare these two things, and it's like. I could play poker when I'm 60. I'm not going to have a fucking two-year-old when I'm 60. You know, yeah, it's like, yeah. I, this Damn. is very, like, immediate. That's very mature, Adam. You know, it's like, you kind of have to do that calculation. That's great, dude. The p- poker is like, 
got me not got me through the pandemic but it was a big part of pandemic it was like me too. yeah we had this like just weird kind of like all stand-up comic games on like sundays and there'd be uh, like there'd be like nine people at a table it, it was like a some semblance of like normalcy it was right. like it was nice i pretty much like part of my like pandemic depression was like sitting in the back house playing p poker tournaments every day the back house or the jack house? Which the, one? The jack shack, right? Jack, jack shack. shack. We Fuck call it the back house, but to the world, house. it is the jack shack. Did you shack. just find out today it's the jack shack? No, she no knows. his, his <laughs> sister <laughs> made him a sign that says the jack shack. For do his you, ever, yeah. Yeah, do awesome. you ever go in the back room and look at the to uh, the trash can and be like, ah, a bunch of cum soaked Semen. tissues? Yes. No, I try not to think about that. I go look in the toilet and see if you flushed it. When did you know you had a big cock, Adam? She told me. No. No, my no. favorite thing is when we do the podcast and then we're going to have the sex and Adam takes his pants off. The and, and the girl's like, whoa. Like, you know, these girls you do proud porn. Of that moment? I you love gotta that be. Moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think they think he's going to have a smaller dick than he does because he's, you know, he's a podcaster, not a porn star. <laughs> what? <laughs> podcast? Just get me back in? We well, don't. We have to work That's not required. <laughs> No, <laughs> you know, you no. can be a eunuch and still be a podcast. Dude, that's true. Yeah. I, I believe that. No, but I mean, it is weird because in the porn world, my dick is definitely nothing special. It's like maybe average at best. Like, you know, it's, it's, but in the real world, I guess it's pretty good size. But Where are you at? Eight? I don't know. I've been meaning to keep a ruler on set so I could catch a measurement. <laughs> you never in the jack shack? I mean, honestly, I haven't measured my dick since I was like 14. And where are we at 14? Do you remember? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe seven or something, but I feel like it's I would say like the medium sized Red Bull can. Whoa. Jesus! Do so the sixteen no ounce way. one. That thing is so thick and fucking. No, huge. like the length. I would kill for a Red Bull can dick. I want. Oh, one you're those, not with I them. want the the screw on cap monster ones that the construction workers drink. Yeah. Those fucking bad boys. <laughs> I want with like a blimpy sub. Those bitches. <laughs> I just want a gallon of water. <laughs> Just no, can't even no, have no, sex no. with it. There is a point where dicks are too big. Okay? Yeah. Uh, the biggest yeah, I feel that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear that big a lot? Smart yeah, water. Just no, a I want a Fiji water. I want a cute yeah. Have you ever came too quick on Plug Talk and you're like, all right, blooper, run it up. Uh, well, um, yes. Two different times, basically. Like one time I kind of like, I'm fucking her and the other girl. And then I like pull out to like let my dick cool off for yep. a second yeah. because, Engine you know, it was heat. getting a little too hot and heated. Overheat. And I'm just like looking down at my dick and it's just like, bleep, oh bleep, no. Bleep. It wasn't like a whole night. Yep. But enough. Yeah. And then there was like the one other girl that actually the exact same thing happened with. And with her, I was able to just be like, oh, all right, fuck it. And then banged them, blew the full nut. Yeah. Wow. And it looked all good on camera. The first one, uh, we we had to kind of like fudge the details a little bit. But CGI, fake yeah, cum. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what we did. Green screen. Yeah. Yeah. We CGI had some cum in there and made it work. Yeah, but have you guys had another dude on Plug Talk? No. Is that in the future? <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, I think we're we're pretty happy with her. Well, we've had other guys on, just they're not fucking. Oh yeah, yeah, banging other girls. We've had yeah, other yeah, yeah. male guests on, and they. Oh, oh the six. Talent, okay, yeah. okay. So uh, we've done scenes that we're we're only doing the podcast part. We're not. We have a whole in network sex. of male porn stars network. that we can rely on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Network. Network. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. That went right over everyone. <laughs> that could be our LLC. Network, network, network LLC. Network LLC. Network. That would be funny. Yeah. Would you guys ever do like plug talk condoms? That'd be cool. We probably have to start wearing condoms. Yeah, Adam's very that anti condom. Yeah. yeah. Who is, is pro condom? School teachers Prostitutes. who are telling you about condoms. <laughs> <laughs> but they're not wearing condoms. No, dude. How do no, you? But I know people who are in relationships for like years of just wearing condoms, and when they tell me that, what? I'm looking at them like there you is some poor of that, yeah. bastard. Wait, really? Yeah, because yeah, if they go awful. off birth control or something, because it fucks with hormones and body stuff, then they're like, oh yeah, we should wear. She's condoms. not even on birth control. I just pull out. Yeah, pull out. What? What? And if, I'm not advising kids. I'm not telling you to do it. It might not work for you. I'm just saying what works for me. Yeah. I'm a big, I'm very good at pulling out. Like, I feel I'm like great top, about it. Like I'm top five. I'm just, I don't feel know how it, people fumble just, the bag that hard. They're I don't like, know. I, it's like I should pull out and they're like, oh, I missed the turn. Yeah. <laughs> but I, don't, but I, don't, I don't think they fumble it though. I think they make a conscious decision. Bro, they go, come? fuck it. I think you they think? like yeah. fucking so much and they're fucking simpletons. So they can't manage having two things in their mind at once. Like right. even me when I'm fucking and it feels great, I'm still thinking, I'm not gonna nut in you, strange yep. woman I just met at the bar. Yep. Not that I would do that now, babe. But, but you know, I'm not 
right. uh, and I'm balancing yeah, that's, that with that's where you come in your, your yeah, yeah my brand is capable of having two tracks like this yeah. feels good yep. and I'm gonna pull out but like yep. you know there's been times in my life where I was so drunk that I couldn't pull out okay, but some true. people are so dumb that it's like they're Done. drunk as fuck all like, day yeah. yeah like Nick Cannon he does not pull <laughs> he's out doing it on purpose. he just had a he's, tenth child I mean what is happening tenth but dude, I, I, birthday cake look like a menorah I love Nick Cannon and I I'm in a position to speak about this because I was just watching an interview that he did last night to prepare for another interview where he was talking about why he's chosen to have so many kids and he basically says i love being a dad and i have enough money that i just whatever like i fucking just chose to do it but yeah i think the thing he's not saying is he probably is bad at pulling out he's yeah. he has to be he has yeah. to be horrible there's no way that he doesn't have a crazy amount of post not regret after 10 kids bro i mean i don't even care how much money you have you and can't he must be fucking so much because you can really only get Correct. pregnant like yeah. two or three days out of the month like you're only ovulating yeah. for so he's such been a shooting up the club for a minute but these are the yeah. 10 that made it i mean we, All we were, baby we were tracking and trying to get pregnant it's not like you know so yeah he must be having so much sex Damn, it took us like two months and she was threatening to make me stop smoking weed because she was scared oh, that yeah, that was why, why it wasn't yeah. happening yet is that a myth or is that real i think, I think it is real a, i think it, it lowers your yeah. no <laughs> it, does, it does lower your testosterone levels though no yeah. your sperm count i think oh i think it's count yeah yeah, yeah. i was starting with ketamine before i tried to get some pregnant so were you guys <laughs> were you guys like th this you, would you guys consider your relationship open or how would no. you label it or like yeah. no we're monogamous except for on camera yep because it's a business Word. yeah Pretty it's much. a show it's entertainment. But it, but it does, it does like, a, not assist, I don't know the right word, but it does make the relationship hotter. Like in, in my like head, it. say again? We like it. Yeah. I feel like it does make it hotter, but because we only do it on camera now, it's like, it's, it is really like work. I was just telling him the right. other night, I was like, listen, I really want to have an off camera threesome where I don't have to care about how I look. Word. I could just eat pussy and get fucked by you. And it's like, I, it's not supposed to be pretty. It could <laughs> the just American be, dream. Yeah. It could just be primal and rugged. Yeah. You know, we're not I like thinking about the camera. angles, but you off do? camera is hotter. Oh, I love doing it on camera, but yeah, it would be great because there's just different incentives when you're doing it on camera because it's like, you need to be concerned with how it's being filmed so it's like yeah. you know are you ever checking like aperture and lighting when you're fucking yeah. like, oh, the, hold the on. iso's no. off <laughs> that's out of my the head. booms in the back yeah. Yeah. no but like okay but you are thinking about that sometimes because maybe the the cameraman's filming from an angle that you're thinking in your head that's a yeah. stupid fucking angle why are you standing All there the time. or whatever yeah. but but even beyond that like real sex you kind of like put your dick in the girl and you're moving it back and forth but you're not like thinking about like the whole like uh, let's go the whole way in and out but yeah. when you're doing porn you're very incentivized to show the whole like th they want to see the pussy and they want to see your whole dick going in and out so you're you're, you're opening you're, up to the camera a lot yeah they call and, so, it. and it is kind of weird too because sometimes people would be like oh your stroke is whack and it's like bro i was doing that for <laughs> people <you."> comment <laughs> like, i was i was i was going slow and like sp like standing at a weird angle because i wanted to look good for the for camera i'm gonna it's diss like my stroke this is a fucking art form <laughs> that just goes to show you you can never escape YouTube comments, right? Of this shit talking, no matter what you do, when yeah. it's just purely there for somebody to pleasure themselves to. Like, bro, your stroke game is trash. Yeah. What comment kills you? you more? That your stroke game is trash or something about like they shit on you about some no jumper shit? I don't care what any of these motherfuckers no. got to say, to be <laughs> honest with you. Like, yeah. I don't feel like there's anything that I read that bothers me at this point because I'm just so used to it. And that's why I can look at the Reddit and like see them trashing us and just not care. And sometimes I feel bad because like other people who work for us are more sensitive and yeah. they get dragged into it. And wow, good for you. But I mean, you've been making podcast since well like 2017 20, well i was doing bmx stuff in like 2014 2015 maybe wow. podcast wise oh yeah That's so you, you've gone through quite some time on the internet so the comments you're just like it doesn't yeah. matter i mean and i was online so long before that like i was i was very well known in like 2006 for being a bmx blogger and just writing and Damn. then at so, a certain point like 2011 2012 it kind of hit me like all this energy that you're putting into writing you fucking moron. Video, <laughs> video is the future. Oh, bro. If you blog like, in 2022, yeah. you're done. You're done. Yeah. What are we it's doing? Not, Words? Yeah. I heard blogs are coming back. Shut up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> if you were going to be a blogger, though, yeah. like, I why wouldn't you just get a fucking camera, set it up, and read your 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 articles into the camera and then put it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Doing both makes sense. Just transcribe your vlog. But, but like the video essay genre is gigantic in, it's in rap straight, straight and outside cameras. of rap. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you just read it into the camera? And hey maybe you're fucking disgustingly ugly but you could still just like like i, I listen to this fucking youtube channel uh that that 
he he has video essays, but then he has a, a video of just like a drawing being done of the person that he's talking about. Um, okay, and That's I don't even cool. know if it's him. It might be like he just hired somebody to do this drawing and screen yeah. record it, and then he speeds it up to fit the video. I mean, that's like, a, it's going to be a million times more likely to get viewed and go viral than if you just write Then you just write you know? some shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just, you got to yeah. adapt to the times, guys. That's guys. what it is. I feel like I always hold out like on the app to see if it's good or not. Like, Be Real is making way right now. I'm like, am I about to download it? I am I about it. to download we it? We downloaded it, but I still like Oh, really? I, but I was the same way with like uh, with Clubhouse. Like, it was getting really, really big, really big. Yeah. Then I just never got on it, and then it kind of went away. Well, like, but look at this. Know. This this right here is basically like clubhouse exists to like subvert this you know like right. clubhouse yeah, it's, is it's for like people that swing, didn't yeah. invest thousands of dollars in building a dope set and like making content wow. and trying to make money off the content and shit like yeah. that so the clubhouse is dope because it's a cool entryway like definitely oh, like, yeah you know i've found people that i hired basically because of clubhouse you oh, know really? because they were talking on there and i noticed their personality and that no, was i don't kinda, think there was anything wrong with it but they tried to take over such a big thing that took a swing at podcast but yeah. this is kind of the mecca of what it'll always be i yeah. think yeah Clubhouse is for losers, realistically. Like, yeah, if yeah, yeah. Episode goes on. I mean, like, I feel that way about the people I know are successful. And actually, that's not true because I've been on Clubhouse one time in my whole life, and a bunch of fucking famous people, like objectively in rap, showed up and were just hanging out on there, and I couldn't believe it. It was great for the pandemic, right? But for me, I don't get it because, like, for me, like, whenever people try to like come in my Clubhouse room, it's like, bro, I just did like four fucking podcasts in a row. I've been in my office, my business, making content that I make money off of all day, and then you want me to go to a Clubhouse for yeah. no fucking reason and do my job for free yeah i'm not doing it how many podcasts do you have uh i really only have two like me and danny mullen just started one called oh, really? sledge lords and know. uh and then i have the no jumper show that i do every tuesday at six. Oh, and then i guess plug talk as well so and three. then you do the interviews so those and then are I do right. yeah, yeah. Interviews. So, yeah so, so, so every like day you're on mic essentially yeah pretty much it's hard to avoid it that's what's up. And what Lena the Plug has her own podcast on YouTube and Let's other uh, services called Touchy Subject. Touchy Subject. What, what she, days does it come she, out? She, uh, it comes out on Wednesdays. Wednesdays. And she interviews a host of different women for the most part. Yes. I don't like to talk about my podcast more than me. Well, I'm proud of you. Thank you. He made me start it. He bought me all the equipment. There you go. It's fun. <laughs> That's super it sweet. It is fun. It is yeah. fun. It's a, I'm, it's a little challenging for me to be like first chair because, you know, on Plug Talk, it's like kind of he takes the lead. Yeah. But it sort of came about because there was like so many girly questions that I wanted to ask on Plug Talk. But it's like the guys watching are jerking off and they probably don't yeah. want to know right. all the nitty gritty of the girl's life that is sort of sad and not horny conversation. So that's what touchy subject came out from. Mm. Dude, I love it. Yeah, so many of our fans have so many questions that we don't have the answers for because we're dudes with fucking no knowledge about any women. I shit. mean, yeah, I mean, maybe like three months ago, we're like, wait, do babies and pee come out of the same hole? We, we don't know. We honestly babies. still don't know. For real. Can you answer that? The women have two holes. They have the urethra, like what the, the, what's the hole. What do you your mean? There's two. And then we have like the vagina, the hole where you actually put your dick in. That's where the baby comes out of. I'm not sold on this. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Me neither, dude. Someone pulled Where's the, the science? Did you build on the thigh like, guy? Really? Yeah. I got what? one butthole. Yeah. One. Yeah, we all have one butthole. Hold up. Women have one. Yeah. Crazy. So oh, how, how did how did you get into the old the porn? Um, I just had like a small following on Instagram and it was just all these yeah. dudes being like, also, Instagram can I buy your you every what week? Oh, yeah, they're I don't just, have an Instagram right the now. The second you make one, they're like, what? you're done. How do you not lose your mind? Because my TikTok views are down for like <laughs> a day. Ask Adam how many times a week you? I cry about this. <laughs> okay. Dude, I, I will <laughs> yell at my therapist, but my TikTok views are down. <laughs> no, it is I sad. I had like a three and a half million follower page that got deleted almost fuck. two years ago now. I would call Mark Zuckerberg with a cease and desist bomb to it. I don't even know what the fuck I got to do. But it sir, is crazy that it it's is. so unfair and that she still like just gets I made five all more pages. They're all gone. If like, you know anyone who can help us, please reach out. Yeah. Um, but I mean, this is not just a, like a problem I deal with. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's, a lot it's almost every creator. Yeah. But at the same same time i can go on instagram and i could find you fully mm. nude women Word. with millions of followers who are verified and their pages being suggested to you as a page to follow the, so it yeah. that really is like the what plug me. talk account is down right now we have like quarter million followers Oof. never obviously posted anything sexual at all it's just yeah. conversation yeah and i mean you can oh, get deleted down. without no, having right. violations that's the crazy no thing. violations yeah. yeah so i think i would just start putting hashtag art under my nudes because then you can't art subjective you can't delete it that's smart. or like if you put your nudes in black and white it looks like film noir mm. like, I, I don't like, understand <laughs> how this isn't like a bigger deal in the media how like the new york times isn't like drawing attention to like look Every fucking hot girl that you've ever met is having your Instagram deleted. But I don't know. but they're they're just like oh you're sex workers therefore you're already in the wrong therefore it's okay that you get deleted. But it's like you should probably have to like violate some terms of service. And the, the I agree with you. It's so crazy that the people that's literally pressing the button to delete 
probably jerk off to you. Right. So it's just, the whole thing. Right. Right. And they're probably like, being paid yeah. by some guy Damn. to fucking do it because the whole thing, it's like this buying and selling of like getting accounts deleted. I know, I know one lady who has paid like fucking 10 grand like three four times five times whatever to get her fucking oh, instagram dude. back and they keep they charge you to get it back and then they charge somebody else who doesn't like you to get it deleted and then they charge you to get it back it's like, it and facebook messy, knows yeah. the shit's going on and that's their employees are all wrapped up in it and there's no that's crazy yeah. i had a girl on my podcast who was talking about how she got her instagram deleted so she started adding uh facebook employees on linkedin and oh, banging geez. them and then eventually one of them got her instagram back and then ironically when she came on my podcast and told the story and it went super viral, she got her Instagram <sighs> deleted again because was it obviously. Kendra? No, it was no, just it was girl a different Kitty. girl, but it just, it's happened to Kendra. She lost. Well, I remember pain. Kendra yeah, went yeah, on yeah. IG Live and was like, "You can't delete me. I'm fucking the CEO of Instagram." And like uh, two weeks yeah. later, she got to leave. <laughs> yeah. The CEO's like, "Oh, who? Done." It's yeah. the greatest injustice of our time. It's fucked up. That it, it's just we have no control. It is worse mm -hmm. than every other. Do you think putting injustice. certain links in your bio make them like get flagged or anything? Definitely. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I think at this point, no one's like directly linking any only. It's not. Yeah. I can get deleted without a link in my bio. Yeah, you I seen a girl the other day with website. the OnlyFans link in her bio. I'm like, whoa. You're, That's bold. You're, you're wild. Like, that is a, like, yeah. You're asking to that get deleted. That is so bold. Why, why are you doing that? Yeah, because you can buy a custom URL for like $7. Yeah, or, But or I also nothing, think it's right? interesting that yeah. it, that um, Instagram hasn't just made it like impossible for you to use that link. Because with Snapchat, if you linked your uh, OnlyFans, yeah. your account just automatically got Deleted, yeah, there's so. this girl I interviewed, Christian Hancher, who had a TikTok with like 20 million followers, and she posted Fuck. it one time. I don't even think she linked it. I think she said like, like, go check out my OF. Yeah, and I think Ooh. she had a link tree in her bio. Gone. 25 million followers. Tried, couldn't get it back. Why, why do they care so much? What is it? Why? If well, I kids are on the app, so yeah. it's like I right, get but it. That's but, why, but why can't you? But why can't you? You should be able to be like, yo, my Instagram or my TikTok is eighteen plus. What there should be, you know, in, on um on YouTube, you can be like, oh, the yeah. age restricted, whatever. You yeah, click yes yeah. or no. Why couldn't you just age like restricted accounts? It, yeah, you can be like, this is eighteen plus. But this, this account is the thing plus. is that OnlyFans is not an inherently sexual platform. There's no, a lot they, of people selling financial advice and whatever fucking bullshit on there, and it's like with her. She's probably showing like nipples. I'm pretty sure that at the time that she got deleted, she wasn't even doing anything sexual on there. Yeah. So that's even crazier. I just wonder if are the people at Instagram clicking the link and then evaluating it and be like, all right, only half an aerial. She's good this week. I have no idea, but I do think that they know somehow the like who the actual porn stars are and who aren't. Oh, yeah. Because it seems right. like the girls who are like yeah. maybe yeah. they just know from Google. Like if you Google me, it you know, it says YouTuber, but it also says people like actress. Riley Reed got Get, have gotten deleted on there like I, I saw riley get deleted in most of her tiktok she was wearing like an avocado costume like she yeah. wasn't posting anything Damn. sexy she got taken down and like that that christian girl i mean 25 million followers if i'm the ceo of tiktok i value the people on my platform right in particular the people who have 25 million followers because it's clearly a you're a creator. big part of what's yeah. being built here the fact that she couldn't get her account back i'm just like somewhere what somehow. hope does a normal person have to get their account back when if you have 20 million was, followers and you're not able to get your account back oh i mean if yeah. my account gets deleted at like 8.4 mil uh, it's gonna be a slow day on the 405 i'm just gonna oh, be yeah. rolling I'm down jumping, i'm <laughs> jumping clean. like i don't know how i'd be able to it is really hard to build back up too is like my page was from 2016 so and you know i make pages and they get deleted but it's really yeah. hard to grow like Dude, starting from the beginning you know 100 percent. it's mm. fucked up it's fucked up these so, poor girls right I, I just feel like it's all, yeah, it's just like it's almost like you, you get adapted to it, which is not the right way. Exactly. And then You're on as your a fifth dude, page, yeah. I'm like, well, what am I? I can't. What am I looking it. at? It's like my girlfriend or fiance is being like ruthlessly, brutally bullied on this platform, and oh. I can't do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Honestly, the saddest thing to me is that I'm like the girls that used to reach out to me to collaborate don't anymore because I don't have a social following, and I'm uh, like, I want to be it's able a network. to yeah. work with my peers, and that's the thing that I think is the worst part. And you forget and about thank God that she has you know millions of subscribers on YouTube and a million followers on so twitter still and she yeah, has yeah. a half a million on tiktok so she still got that but it's like for a lot of girls like literally i know fucking uh remember uh, jen wolfie yeah this like australian chick who would post like booty photos basically like yeah didn't even do porn stuff and yeah she was huge she got her instagram deleted i didn't hear shit i wouldn't even be able to get in touch with her if i wanted to yeah. right now i don't yeah and she was somebody we i remember her kind of saying like yeah i'm not really doing youtube or twitter or whatever she was really focused on instagram so when she got taken on there it was done the plus side is done. twitter doesn't give a fuck that is how funny twitter is only deletes your account if you get too political i've looked at twitter accounts that are full of people eating shit and they're still up oh and yeah i'm just i'm waiting for my southwest flight just scrolling and it's yeah. just straight 
ass destroying. I can't find uh-huh. it. There was a dude who was begging me for an interview, and his his whole page was girls eating shit. And Ugh, I and, stop and I I kind of like <laughs> left him unread. But now when I think about <laughs> it, I'm like, like, all right, all right. I want to I want to interview that guy. I want to know just what like this five is minutes. Over. Hold on, well, so he so a couple he's, hours. He's eating <laughs> shit, or he's he's no, just... he's got hot girls eating shit. His own. Oh, I'm shit? sick. I don't know. Do where we the poop think came it's from. real shit? I think Some he might have gone and got this. it from like a, a outhouse or something, just like collect it from oh, the neighborhood. Bro. No, I don't know, but uh, I do know that two girls, one cup was fake. So that makes me yeah. question what? his. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look up two girls, one cup. Justin Wang. Justin Wang did a video basically explaining how my it, whole childhood. I was probably chocolate. I've ice still cream. never seen it. I refused. It's fake. It's so wild. You can watch it in a different light. First the moon landing, now two girls, one cup. <laughs> Wait till you find out about 9-11. Oh, fuck. My head just explodes. <laughs> we have a few questions from people, and then once you get out of here. These yeah. are people who write in. They're sure. just anonymous ones. And we'll get out of here. Yeah. Uh, this one, uh, someone wants some advice. There's a question that comes from someone named Clemens. And they said- Clemens? Clemens. Roger. Uh, a girl that was naked spooning me after coitus sleep farted on my dick. What would you do? Nothing. She farts. Yeah. Ignore it. She's a human being, you fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does he think he's going to do? Wake her up and tell her like, hey, you farted in your sleep last night. I would like to say, though, there is obviously we all have a, like an ick thing. And it, there, it, it, this might be a that like, you know, a moment of ick you can't get out of your brain. Mm. So that might be that for him i it's feel like, like her shitting in the bed would be the thing that you should probably be like grossed yes, out yeah. by i feel like a fart is i mean it's very human. But, if, but dude if she we had like know. if she had like two chalupas and it's like you just met her and then she just farts on your dick i farted in horrendous. bed the first night that i went out on a date with him after we fucked he was just sleeping and i'm a sleep farting. farter yeah that's why he go. feels if sympathy one thing for her know, <laughs> i remember there was a girl that i met randomly right like maybe within six months or a year of meeting you. And I hung out with her. We went and we got sushi, right? And I, I'm eating. And I, I turn my head away from her and I burp while I'm eating. Yeah. yeah. She's like, Adam, that was disgusting. Never do that around me again. I'm kind of thinking like, all right, like she's bugging. And then we, yeah. we go home, we fuck, we wake up in the morning next to each other to me farting. You know, I fart on her essentially like in my sleep yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and she just wakes me up like adam never fart on me again and i'm just thinking like all right major pain the same yeah, 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 it's, no no like, <laughs> it's not like you're, you're taking issue with like gas leaving my body this is just how my body works if you can't handle this you can't handle me Dude, i have face tats i, no, I don't feel bad about not public? calling you back you dummy yeah. meanwhile i left the building to go to the bathroom like the first two years of our relationship <laughs> hilarious was it two two years for real because yeah, i've heard i've heard like horror stories of people like they can't shit in front of each other go shit in the lobby to my building yeah i would go in the downstairs but left. would you say you're going to the bathroom like, i gotta go make a phone call i don't know what i would say i think i was so like just out there like just high as fuck smoking weed and yeah, editing on my computer that i, <laughs> didn't, I didn't really notice that she was leaving yeah, my yeah, apartment yeah, yeah. for five minutes and then coming right. back came back limping so <laughs> I, <don't laughs> <know. Down. laughs> I remember figuring out that that's what you had been doing all this time and i was like wow you're like just use my bathroom i was like no i mean it's not mm-hmm. like you're shitting it that much no but you had a really small apartment so yeah oh. you, know, you know like yeah i have a lot of memories like that of like hooking up with a girl and then her bathroom is like yep. three feet away but yeah. but knowing what i know now is like you you shit and you flush like as the shit's At, hitting the yeah, toilet or you run the water i would be going. sitting in there just like steaming it's like a sauna of shit like, yeah, yeah, of course she's gonna smell it from the kitchen or whatever you know like <laughs> dude i got when i was single i had this stuff um that i left in my bathroom you spray it in the water before well, you shit mm-hmm. and it, it for some i don't know what it does but the chemicals like just uh like they capture the shit particles or whatever and you can't smell it at all. That's amazing. It was that. wonderful. You're never gonna remember to spray it before shit. I shit in front of her, and she just doesn't even say anything anymore. She doesn't even point out that unless it it's really, really, really bad smelling. I won't say anything. I'm I just used to it. Our bathroom is as big as a room. It's so big it's enough that like the I could smell be doesn't really like it's a little yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will say I like that part of the relationship when, when at, at just at some point you go, I'm shitting, and and she goes, cool, and you go, cool, and then it's done. Like that weirdness is done. She shits, I shit. It's all good. I love that part. That comfortability. That's why I get it out the way on day one. If I'm going on a <laughs> day with yeah, you, I'm like far. First night slept over, just yeah, let her shit with the door open. Dirt. I'm gonna puke over for no reason. Just yeah. Everything out, <laughs> shit, fart, puke, yak, whatever your body can wrist. do. Yeah. Yeah. Come to <laughs> quick, whatever you gotta do, do, get it out on the first night. <sighs> Hell yeah, Gabe. 
Yeah. Next uh, one, we're done. Yeah, this is our last one. Anonymous submission. This says, uh, one of my first boyfriends wanted me to push his balls into his abdomen and twist his empty ball sack during sex. What the fuck? What, dude? This is a bop it. What's going on here? <laughs> twist the, one more time. Twist the what, balls, what push them into his abdomen. This is a P90X right here. Yeah, push balls up into the abdomen and then twist the empty ball sack. What the fuck? Oh, 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 I get it. I get oh, it. So I get it. Sack's still there. And I feel then like this is made up. There's that no that is so funny. And you I, would I, think. Yeah, and then you see the photo of these people and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's like a joke I would have thought that I would have heard when I was like 20. And here I am at 38 having a laugh. How at easy it. is it to do that? I'm not really like. You, you can, uh, okay. You can I remember being in talk, high school and yeah. sort of noticing, like, I'm taking a shit. I, gr- I touch my balls. I realize I can only feel one ball. And then I realized that one of the balls yeah, was like, sort of like up, up yeah, into your, head. like, yeah. ball. I don't He's know. He's up there charging like a damn test. It's sort of like, yeah, it was like up in there. And I sort of had to, like, get push it out. Yeah. And no, I would never want to do that. Sexually, during but. sex, sometimes I have to. Sometimes I, I look down. I there's just it's just kind of this one thing, and you I can Dunk. see like the lump up here, and I have to like push it down. What? Yeah. You think you got to push it down to get the nut out? I think I have to. <laughs> our That's bodies cool. are a wonderland. Or That's a great I just lyrics. trust the yeah. body. I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. gonna inspect your balls later tonight because I want to know how they do all kinds possible. of freaky <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new video we see you drop inspecting Adam's balls. Yeah. People really want me to fit a film a foot job with you. Would you be down? <laughs> Sure. This boy's got a huge foot fetish. That's his whole I'm thing. In. He loves the feet. I'm in. For some reason, I have more foot fans than the average uh, OnlyFans girl. And uh, I don't know why, but they really want more feet content. So what, get it going. Are you, are are you, you, did that, you know that, that doing for you? a foot job is like just a lower ab workout? It yeah. is. Yeah, my girl says it's, it's, it's like it's literally hard. She does it for you? Oh, yeah. Well, when I looked oh. at my schedule for today, one of the things in my schedule was just sex with Lena. Yes. Yeah, like 7 p.m., 8 p.m., whatever. Like, we got to film something. So yeah. she's like letting me know, like, be ready to nut. That's so cool. It's just I so, love that. You guys got it locked down. Relationship, the, the timing, boom. It's nice. Just Google Schedule calendar. Yeah, can you send me the invite? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Comes and takes notes on the foot drop. <laughs> well, you know what's crazy? We just realized because we just saw Tana Manju at a fucking Mojo, Mojo mm-hmm. at a restaurant. And uh, she, she fucking did a video when she was fucking young, when she was like 19 or some shit, where she watched us have sex. So, so that she could title her YouTube video, yeah. I watch my friends have sex, whatever. And it was fucking oh weird God. because she's like, she's young and she's like giggling. She's nervous. She's with her she like the camera, like she, blog style. Yeah. And she yeah, had like a yeah. whiteboard and she was like drawing what we were doing. No. Yeah. She's like, like Adam's like twerking on Lena. <laughs> <laughs> but we just went to look for it. We got taken down by YouTube for community guidelines violations. So because when I think about it, I would never want to have sex audio in a video, even though I think some people well, get away people with can't it. Watch but... it in public. It's like weird. Then your well, mom walks in. I just don't want to do my video taken down. So I feel like right. yeah, yeah, yeah. probably in that video you could hear some sex audio, right? I don't, I don't know. A little know clap and a little bit of yeah. round yeah. of applause back there. Hey. Round of oh, applause. Oh, was a different Baby time. Maker. Oh, well, we didn't answer this guy's question or this uh, girl's question. I don't even know gross. what the. I think they were just letting us. Oh, because it was an anonymous confession. I think they're just letting us know that it, oh, that it happened. Oh, I thought we were supposed to give yeah, her advice. No, we, we just kind of react can, on the anonymous one. But but if you guys try it, let she us can. know and we'll put it in. Yeah, yeah. Don't. It seems interesting. Idea. I think there's other ways to get me off. You know. I mean, this maybe this is this beat my ass with a rainbow flip flop. There you go. Do something sexually. <laughs> I'm into it. Yeah. Listen, okay. Real advice: if yes. that is your fetish, if that is something you're into, you should probably join some kind of forum or like weird fetish dating app. Because realistically, 99.9 percent of people that you meet in a normal social environment are going to be horrified when they find out that that's something that you want to do. So yeah, very true. But there's probably a lot of people online that are super into the little, the, right. the ball twist. You got to find them. Like yeah. I, I didn't know that milking was a big thing until I saw it in Dave, the little dicky yeah. show. And then randomly I got like an ad one day, randomly. Hey, <laughs> not me. But it's for a milking table. And I was wow. like, we be out here doing this. I'm gonna be honest, dude. The thought of that, I think I'm really into it. There's something about really? the, the, yeah, because there's something about the disconnect of the dick through the table. It's just a glory hole where you're laying down. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah but it, it, it the, the way I'm imagining it feels awesome. And I don't know if it would be. Post no regret would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> what, if yeah. you just had random people going down there? I don't know. What, what is milking though? Like it's- You just like, lay on a table on and there's the a hole and, and then there's somebody it's just like a beneath massage it. Table. Right, they, they, they make you come. Ideally. Yeah. They don't like make your brother produce milk. Just, okay. No, no, no. Well, you are producing some position. form of milk. Yeah. yeah. It's like jerked off. Yeah. Upset. And it's just like a laying down glory hole. Yeah. One time I did a scene with her and a bunch of other girls where I was wearing an Easter bunny costume. And so I have this giant Easter bunny fucking helmet. <laughs> and so they're all like <laughs> sucking my dick and fucking me and stuff. And I can't see any of it. 
Because oh, of the wow. fucking helmet. So you don't know what's happening. Yeah. And he it's doesn't like, know who's, who's could mouth, you tell whose vagina. Could you tell when was her you mouth was up? probably could, right? I'm not sure if I thought about it at the time. It was four girls, so there was a lot. What's the most what? at once? God, I'm jealous four. of your entire life. Four chicks. Four. It was four girls. Four yeah. chicks wearing a fucking Easter bunny costume? Realistically, those girls weighed like 50 pounds less than me each, so you probably knew which one was me. I nutted, and I didn't even see what I was nutting to. <laughs> <laughs> It was a weird feeling. Do you think that helped you come though? Do you think that like idea of like not knowing like the mysterious? No, white it honestly, airheads? just like that's that's what I learned in that experience. Is like, oh, it feels so good that I don't have to see anything. Yeah, it probably took longer uh, to come because you couldn't see anything. Maybe, but I remember like having to struggle not to come because just just the feeling of having yeah. a bunch of hands like grabbing. And we're all day. fighting over it, kind of like my turn. God, this is the hottest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's so cool. I would get in my head. I'd be too hot in the bunny outfit. Available, get me out of here. Available on our OnlyFans. Yeah. Plug oh. it. Plug it. Plug everything you guys got. Let um, me plug OnlyFans. Let me plug. Google. OnlyFans. Adam22 and No Jumper on no all jumper. socials. You know what? Plug Talk. Where can they watch Plug Talk? Only it's plug on Pornhub, talk right? Talk. Yeah. Uh, are, you guys, are you guys the like only clips. podcast on Pornhub? Mm, I doubt it. Not. I bet other people putting up but podcasts on there. But OnlyPlugTalk.com. OnlyFans. $5 a month. You can watch all of our episodes is like 40 episodes. It's realistically a gigantic amount of content. And a lot of come. If you stay four, four new episodes a month and many episodes are already in the tank. So, well, That's guys, great. appreciate you coming by, dude. Guys, I'm, I'm guys. surprised we've yeah, never crossed so cool. paths before. But, um, yeah, thanks for coming on, dude. I'd I'm love gonna go to start my show sometime. Yeah, hell yeah. I love it. I'll All right, guys. That's the show. Thank you so much appreciate for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, peace. <laughs> Thank you, Adam22 and Leonard, for coming by the podcast. We also have a Patreon, which is four extra episodes, drops every And we Friday. also fuck on it. We do. It's really fun. I come fast. Yeah, not sexually, though. Nope. Patreon.com so, backslash yeah. Stiff Socks Pod. Uh -huh. We do a whole episode, an hour, uninterrupted, no ads, same episode you're listening to right now, but just once a week, $5. Yeah, it's not the exact same episode. It's a different one, bonus one. Oh, we say stuff on there that we might not say in the regular. Oh, we can't. You're telling me every week. Every week. Every week for five dollars a month. Yep. We're literally dumb for doing that. Yeah, we. It should be. It should I be at least tired. six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> every week. Yeah. Every Friday. Every Friday, ad free. Go check it out. Also, um, the audio comes out on Apple Plus. So, and that's five dollars as well. So, guys, go do it. And you know what? Why don't we give him a little sneak peek, huh? Gabe, give it to him. I always see a thing during the week and I go, wow, I can't wait to talk about that on the podcast. And then today we didn't talk about it, but there's a website that shows you based on your body type and stats as a dude, how big your breast would be as a female. <laughs> the fact that we didn't talk about some of the Should we just make this a regular episode? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got to find it. I literally took a screenshot of it because I was so like, I always talk about having massive jugs on this show. Yeah. Let's see if I can find it. It's called Count. It's called I Am Lonely. CountCalculate.com. Count Calculate? Yeah. Like, is it an app or on the desktop? Uh, it's horny. It, it's yeah. Just a, it's a www. I got it. I'm not Dude, I want OnlyFans.gov. That's, That's a Sarah Palin pussy. That's hot. You think Bitch, pussies. What? what? I don't know. Huh? I just heard of Sarah Palin. <clears throat> Sarah Palin would get fucked. Can I say that? Yo, Is she yeah. still like the president of Alaska? She's from there. Does she still work there? I don't know. She's like, she's doc of there. Prime minister? She's Prime minister there. sounds like a good meal. It sounds awesome. I get a medium rare. What do you get at Denny's? Do you uh, make your pancakes own? Pancakes and AIDS. <laughs> I believe the word you're looking for is eggs. Do you make your own Grand Slam? What the hell did you say to me? Do you make your own Grand Slam? What do you mean make your own Grand Slam? What? Don't you say, don't you point to a picture because you're hammered? Yeah. But what do you mean you make your own? Don't you just point to it and, well, and they say, Well, there's the Grand eggs? Slams that they have. It's like the All-American Grand Slam, the yeah. Punch or Stepdad Grand Slam. But then you can like mix and match and make your own Grand Slam. Well, Grand Slam is just like uh, essentially just a breakfast plate. Oh, no. I, I just get the, the OG. Mm. The Make America Great plate again. <laughs> Gable, <laughs> if Trump had a Denny's collab, Son. oh my, Son. you thought that red hat was doing numbers? Nah, motherfuckers be wearing that on their head. You think the lines at Raising Cane's was long? God damn, the line would be so long. America's so funny. There's literally, are we talking about that? The Raising Cane's that opened in Burbank, this shit went down like three blocks. There was cops there. I don't understand. 
You ever get shot over a chicken finger? <laughs> I'm pretty sure people did get shot about, or who was it? KFC had that sandwich come out? Yeah. Sir. Then they like pulled it off the menu and then some guy went to order and like, we don't have that. And he's like, Ch -ch -ch. Oh, we have that. Yeah. Well, it's weird because it was like such a big, like you needed, it was like watching the new Game of Thrones. Like you had to have it was done a thing. it. Or you're like Chick Fil A is like we've been doing this. Chick Fil A is so good. We just had it like an hour ago. Yep. Gabe, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? What? Gabe's like adjusting the TV, but there's nothing on the TV. Gabe's booming her out right now. Gabe's off the heroin. HDMI. You ever put your dick in oh, HDMI thing? Yeah, I was wondering. You guys didn't see it come out. Calculate how large your breasts would have been if you had been a woman. Let's go. Start with me. Fuck yeah. Um, all right. How old are you, Chuck? Racks on racks on racks. Twenty nine. Do you have a receding hairline? No. Okay. Please say, please say no. Uh, no, you're good. What most describes your natural body or your natural body hair? Hairiness is quite quaffed, normal. not very hairy. You don't have a lot of beard, chest hair, or anything. Correct. Okay. Sadly. Uh, what's your body mass index? My BMI. BMI? The can, fuck does that mean? You gotta Google that. that shit. What's that? BBO. This. Uh, oh, you can calculate. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So how tall? Six foot. Five eleven, three fourths. Well, what's your weight? Like one sixty five. Well. Five and peed yet? Twenty-two point three eight. Well, dude, I think I'm gonna have some jugs on me. I think you're gonna have a flat chest. There's no way. I think I'm gonna be titted up, no ass. How would you describe no. your body mass? Fifty-fifty fat and muscles, bit more fat than muscles, mostly muscles. Uh, sir. <laughs> what do you mean, sir? <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> My buddy. Uh, probably fifty-fifty. <clears throat> BK. Uh, what's your waist size for jeans? Thirty-two. Dick size 44 uh, how centimeters. Is your penis erect? Oh, this is a real question. Yeah. Between six and seven inches. Whoa. Is it really? In the winter. Oh, hold on. Is it really yeah. between five and six? You? I'm asking you. No, I'm six and seven. All right. Good job. How often did you eat corn when you grew up? Not That's before. not a fucking question. You're what? <laughs> once or twice a month, not very often on occasion. Mm, maybe once a week. Once a week. I was corned up. <laughs> <laughs> How big that are the so breasts of your family? <laughs> this is what a is crazy this? question. Oh, this is a hot says, question. How long are, are the breasts of your female family members? Go ahead, answer. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's weird. Answer. How big? Average, small, large. I think average. Uh, I'd say average. Is your mom racked out? All right, we're going to calculate. I think your fucking breasts gonna look like a piece of pizza. A. Ha ha. A seventy one bitches ain't bingo. What does that even mean? What seventy one mean? I don't know. Wait, look at that question. It says, "What size is seventy one? Wait, seventy one cm bust? Bust yeah, is bust. hilarious. Like if if somebody said I had a busty chest, that's hot. What do you mean by that? You're gonna bust all of them. Yeah, all right. So, so small. Bring up a picture. That's Bring up a picture stupid. of a seventy four. I don't. I don't agree. I do. Look so on. what? Yeah, I, I would have ass, no, or what? It's just tits. Just no, but breasts. but I'm saying usually. That's you. But I'm saying usually it's what you know. It's the trade off. It's like oh she got a donk, but it's like you know she got a cups, or she got them fucking d -d 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 ds, and then you know, the booty is there. I've it's seen flat cake. on both ends. Bitch looks like a granola bar. <laughs> <laughs> God. I'm if Fuck all this. Why don't I have bigger tits? Why am I hot? Is it not hot in here? Wait, wait. I just want to see what happens if you say corn. Oh, corn once a day? Yeah, this is so wrong. Does it make your uh, tits bigger? Bro, this is just the same thing as doing one of those like things in like middle 100%. school. That, what was it? We put the paper on your fingers. Pick a number. One, two, three, or four. It's Pick like a, a corner. a wrap thing. What is that? A wrap generator? Same thing. Yeah. yeah uh, eating corn brings your breast size up by like three centimeters. Well, that just means you're fat. Your breasts aren't bigger. This is wrong. Like your your actual like you got a barrel chest. <laughs> this is wrong. I would have such a big rack, or I'd pay for one. If you enjoyed that clip, there's a back catalog of over 150 some episodes ah. on Patreon. Whoa! So if you think you're all caught up on the regular feed and you want to challenge yourself, go to Patreon.com/backslash/stiffsockspod. Five dollars a month, four extra episodes a month. Ad it's like it's like a dollar twenty five per do episode. It. And we have Apple Plus. Which Apple released Plus. the exact same bonus episodes, but only audio. Yeah, and that one you can do with like Apple Pay and yeah. all that. Shoot, Super shoot. easy. Bing Super bang. easy. No friction. Podcast app. Do it. Splat? Do you want to make out? Let's do it. All right.